modify the name of the fruit. All members of the Hundred Beasts are Phantom Beasts author, Life as Day, Chapter 126, Buandi C. Uninhabited Islands. The two Imperial Pirate Regiments collided together, the world's strongest man and the strongest creature in the sea, land and air confronted each other, and the wolf's tooth rod and Kong Yun cut each other far apart. Whitebeard, how dare your people attack my transport ship, cause me to lose more than a billion baileys. Kaido's nostrils spewed out two streams of white gas, and he stared angrily at the white beard. Others have a white beard, but he is not vain. Whitebeard was better than him, but he definitely couldn't kill him. On the world's first, it must be Whitebeard. But the battle changes instantaneously, and the battle between the two sides is not one on one, but one sea thief regiment against another sea thief regiment. There are many variables and the hundred beasts don't necessarily lose to the Whitebeard pirates. At first, the strength of the Lox pirates was stronger than the Roger pirates and Cap combined, but in the end they lost. How large the Golden Lion's fleet was, it was also defeated. In war, we must have strength and luck. Golem la 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 Kaido little devil, you're getting tougher. When you were on the rocks boat, you didn't dare talk to me like that. Whitebeard laughed, not caring in the slightest about Kaido's anger. Kaido's forehead burst into flames. Whitebeard, I was young then. Now I'm not who I used to be. Little devil, if Mita can slash you, I can kill you. Whitebeard stared at Kaido. Oh wow, Kaido sneered. The wolf's tooth stick covered with a layer of armed color, just slash me. My strength is no longer the level of previous years. Even if it is you, you can't help me. Stinky little devil, then try it. Whitebeard, if you want to avenge Mita, then just give it a try. The wolf's tooth rod and the supreme great fast knife cloud cut collided together. Bang, a huge shockwave flew the surrounding pirates and the ground cracked in layers. The armed color of the world's strongest man and the armed color of the strongest creature in the sea, land and air are fiercely opposed, and the purple lightning emitted by the collision warns the pirates around them. Near, die, battle of the emperors of the sea. The weak are not allowed to interfere. Sky, the sky is cracked. Is this the power of the emperor of the seas? It was just the aftermath of the battle, and it was able to split the sky. The emperor of Shan is so powerful. The old man with the white beard is certainly not the opponent of Boss Kaido. Today we are going to destroy the white beard pirates. Go roll. A hundred beasts, but also want to fight against the white bearded pirate regiment. The members of the two sea thieves scolded each other, shouting and shouting and killing. The pirates of the hundred beasts besieged Margao and penetrated Margao's body with their swords. Ha ha ha, Margao was solved by us. Is this the sea thief with a bounty of over a billion dollars? Nothing more than that. The guys of the Whitebeard pirates are all waste in vain. Kill him. The morale of the Whitebeard pirates will surely drop. The pirates of the hundred beasts were excited and shouted in delight. Hey, you guys. Do you really think you can kill me with this level of attack? Margao's arms turned into wings and his body burned with cyan flames. The wound caused by the sword healed instantly and he gently flapped his wings and swept away a large area of pirates. Ordinary pirates are not Melgao's enemies at all, and can be defeated with a single attack. Yam Yan Ember pulled out a fast knife and cut out a sword chi. Flying slashes approach Margao. Embers, it's you. Margu dodged the flying slash. This attack is armed and domineering, and if he is cut, he will also be injured. Margao, let me be your opponent. The embers of the fire are cold and cold. You go up with Quinn. Margao flew high into the air, his wings shook and swooped down to the embers of the fire. Beat you, I'm enough alone. The embers turned into toothless pterosaurs, and a huge fireball appeared in front of them. Yan Huang, this is the racial ability of the embers of fire, which can manipulate the flames to attack. Maga was very disdainful of the flames of the embers, and his undead bird form was not afraid of being injured. As long as it is not caused by the domineering injury, it is easy to recover as before. Phoenix Seal, Maga unleashed a powerful shockwave that shattered the fireball of the fiery embers. The two fight together, and the Plague Quinn on the other side is slaughtering on the battlefield, but is stopped by Diamond Jaws. Jaws decisively unleashed the fruit ability, and his body turned into a hard diamond. In this state, his defense was extremely strong, and it was difficult to be injured. If you want to hurt Jaws, you can only take advantage of the fact that he does not use the fruit ability. Quinn was obviously not dealing with Jaws for the first time, and when he saw Jaws stop him, he frowned involuntarily. It's you turtle shell again. Quinn was upset and his laser attack could not break through Jaws's defenses, and Jaws was very upset. You guy can't be allowed to slaughter the white-bearded pirates. Jaws roared angrily, like a bull, and crashed into Quinn. Boom. Quinn flew out backwards and spat out a few mouthfuls of blood. Fortunately, he was a member of the animal system and had strong vitality, and this collision made him vomit blood, but it did not affect the combat strength. Damn turtle shell, I'm going to kill you this time. Quinn's face darkened, and his killing intent soared. Ha, huh, if you can do it. Give it a try. Jaws muffled. Quinn transformed into a giant Brachiosaurus with an armed head and crashed into Jaws. Boom. Not to be outdone, Jaws crashed into Quinn. It hurts. Quinn kept pulling back, shouting pain in his mouth. Not far away, 
Peg even saw this scene and twitched at the corners of his mouth. What Quinn is good at is not the ability of the animal line, but the power of technology. Quinn, this fool, knows that Jaws's defense is strong, and he is still hard on him, which is really stupid. Peggy one muttered. His opponent is the shark man Nama, the eighth captain of the Whitebeard Pirates. The strength is very strong, and the teeth can easily crush steel, even with a fast knife. Instead of worrying about your companions, worry more about yourself. Namuel revealed a mouthful of steel teeth. Captain Eighth, you still dare to find me? How bold, Peggy one said in a deep voice. You're just one of the little flying six, if it's not the wings of nothingness, what arrogance. In other words, the wings of nothingness, Namuel might be afraid. Peggy one, this little devil wasn't enough to scare him. If it weren't for the grown-ups not letting me use my powers, Peg even stared at Nama. Suddenly, he seemed to sense something and jerked his head up. Adult, here it comes. Peggy one murmured in her heart. Not only him, but also Whitebeard and Kaido sensed that there was someone in the sky. Who dare to intervene in the war between the Hundred Beasts and the Whitebeard Pirates? Malt roared. The pirates on the uninhabited islands all secretly skimmed the sky, wanting to know who was so bold as to break into the war between the two Imperial Pirate regiments. If you are not careful, you will anger the two sea emperors. Kaido, don't die. Yamato's voice sounded, and Kaido's face changed dramatically. Whitebeard was surprised, and fighting him didn't make Kaido's face change dramatically. But the voice did. Who is making the sound? Just when Whitebeard was wondering, the dark clouds dispersed and a huge high temperature energy projectile was revealed. Gaia energy cannon. Yamato's transformation into a battle tyrannosaur beast was gathering strength, and Suyu stood above her, spreading her black wings and looking down below. Captain Kaido's. I haven't seen you for a long time. As soon as Suyu's voice fell, the Gaia energy cannon fell with a terrifying power. Chapter 127 Kaido felt a great threat and his face was pitch black. Yamato is not here to help him, but to kill him. The power of this move is much more powerful than when fighting him before. If he doesn't do well, he will be hit hard. Yamato, you idiot. Aim at Whitebeard. Kaido roared angrily and dodged quickly. Kaido little devil, there are attacks that make you afraid. The Whitebeard laughed and his fist trapped in a layer of transparent air cover-like things, aiming at the sky and smashing, boom, cracks in the air, and the force of the vibration detonated the Gaia energy cannon, bang, a fierce splash of energy scattered the dark clouds within a radius of tens of miles, that huge shockwave made the sea around the uninhabited island no longer calm, forming a series of huge waves, drowning many ships of the two imperial pirate regiments, boat, our ship was engulfed, turned into pieces, damn, where did this guy come from, how dare he attack Whitebeard daddy, the members of the Whitebeard Pirates scolded, and one by one they were eager to fly into the sky to give Yamato a few knives. Kaido glanced at Yamato jealously. Suyu, Yamato, you're finally back. Let's go together. Defeat the Whitebeard Pirates. Stupid Kaido. I'm here not only to beat Whitebeard, but also to beat you. Yamato said bluntly. As soon as this remark came out, it shocked countless members of the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment. Even Whitebeard was shocked. Kaido. It seems that your men don't listen to you. Ha ha ha. It turned out not to help Kaido. In the face of two sea emperors who are still so arrogant, this guy's courage is really big. Ahem. Whitebeard Daddy is the strongest in the world, just a little girl, and wants to beat Daddy. It's really delusional. The Whitebeard pirates were all relieved and taunted Kaido and Yamato loudly. So you noticed Peggy Wan, saw him fighting with a shark man, and said lightly, Peggy Wan, show your full strength. Peggy Wan below grinned, my lord. I have been waiting for your order for a long time. What the hell are you guys doing, fighting with me and still hiding your strength? Shark Man said coldly. Peg Even's body grew larger, and the gloomy bone armor wrapped around his whole body, and after a moment, he turned into a huge evil dragon. The evil dragon was very large, with a head of more than 20 meters, and the surging power spread, and the faces of the people close to Peggy One changed dramatically. The Shark Man subconsciously took two or three steps back. What is this? Aren't you a Spinosaurus form powerhouse? Why did it become a dragon? Sizzle tilde. Peggy one opened the mouth of the abyss and spewed out a white breath, as if the breath of hell filled the air. This is my real strength. Don't compare me to the other flying hex cells. I'm the evil dragon Peggy Van. The evil dragon roared, and the black cheese surged around like a tide. Soon, Shark Man was surrounded by black gas, and he looked around warily, guarding against Peggy Van's sneak attack. Suddenly, the black gas turned into a huge chain, and the head was still with huge spikes rushing towards the shark man from all directions. Bang! The shark man holds a huge chain in both hands. The strength of the fishman is ten times stronger than that of a human, he is the best of the fishman, and his strength is even more powerful. But when he chained it up, he found himself too naive. The chain was so powerful that even he could barely block one. And there were dozens of chains that surrounded him. Roar! Beg even let out a huge roar. The chains kept falling, and the shark man could block one or two but he couldn't stop more, and he was quickly covered by the chains, and he didn't know whether he was alive or dead. 
Peggy's transformation into an evil dragon attracted everyone's attention, and the pirates were amazed at Peggy Even's demonic fruit ability. The rumors about Peggy Even are all spin our form ability. But today I saw that this is where the spiny back dragon form ability is clearly an asper species ability. Margot glanced worriedly in the direction of Sharkman. Don't die, you're still worried about yourself. The embers kicked Margot on the head, kicking him tens of meters. Bang, Margot fell to the ground, the blue flames mending the wounds, and he looked nervous. The situation on the battlefield was changing rapidly, and he was a little unsure. Peg Even's transformation gave him a bad premonition. I didn't expect the hundred beasts to still play the hand of hiding clumsiness, Malgo said in a deep voice. Che, think the hundred beasts regiment is the white beard pirate regiment? The hundred beasts regiment respects strength, but it is not the white bearded pirate regiment who is close to white beard, and whose number is in the front. I didn't know Peg Even's strength before. The embers of the fire were dismissive. In his eyes, there was something wrong with the system of the Whitebeard Pirates, although it is also a strong strength to become the captain of the fan. But the number is not ranked according to strength. At the beginning, Mitsuki Mita's strength was higher than Mal's, but he was the second captain. In this way, it is unfair to those who have become captains. If he had known Peg Even's strength before, he would have wanted Kaido's proposal to improve Peg Even's status. You don't have any feelings at all and you're doomed to not go far. Margot spread his wings and flew towards Yamato in the sky. Margot, you stop me. The embers of the fire also flapped their wings and chased after Margot. Yamato saw Margot approaching, releasing a large amount of flames, and the sky instantly turned into a sea of fire. Margot Kiang braved the fire and rushed to Yamato. Phoenix seal. A knife crossed in front of Yamato, blocking Margot's blow. Margot was stunned. His phoenix seal was blocked so easily, he couldn't help but recall that when he first fought Riley, the other party blocked his phoenix seal with one finger. That time made him feel humiliated, and now he was stronger, but he was blocked by the phoenix seal so easily. Suyu, you're so strong. After Mal was satisfied, he recognized Suyu. Suyu is too famous. And there have been many rumors about Suyu recently, and it is impossible for Margao not to know him. In particular, Suyu's bounty exceeded his, reaching a staggering two billion. This made Margao wary. Suyu grinned, my target this time is not you. With a quick knife shock, Malgao retreated more than ten meters standing in the opposite position of Suyu in the sky. If you want to interfere with Daddy's battle, you must first defeat me. Malko condensed. My lord, let me solve him. Yamato muffled voice. That's up to you. Suyu smiled and landed down. Don't go. Mal shouted that just as he was about to pursue Suyu, he was stopped by the embers of the fire. Margao, your opponent is me. The embers of the fire changed into orc form, and the flames behind them covered the wings. In this form, he is like an esper species ability. Yamato shrinks in size and, like the embers of the fire, transforms into an orc form, with digital alloy armor covering his body. In his right hand, he holds a mace with a burning flame on it, and in his left hand is a shrunken alloy claw. The shield of courage radiates a dazzling light behind it, forming a reflection in the sky. Embers. He handed it over to me, you go find someone else. Yamato had a serious expression. Chapter 128 Yam Yan Embers narrowed his eyes at Yamato and staggered his body. Then it's up to you, with that. The embers rushed down to the flower knife Beaster below. Beaster is fighting Maria, and Maria is still suppressed by Beaster after exerting her fruit ability. The other party's kendo is very sharp, which makes Maria bitter. Mary, Beaster handed it over to me. The embers of the fire fell from the sky, and the knife was quickly cut down, and the flames fell with it. Embers, it's you again. This time I will make sure you have come and gone. The flower sword Beaster crossed his sword and withstood the slash of the embers. Boom, the ground collapsed and Beaster's legs sank into the ground. Seeing that the situation was not good, Whitebeard was secretly worried. Kaido little devil, your people are very capable, Whitebeard said. Whitebeard, you're getting old and becoming benevolent. Kaido saw Whitebeard's concern at a glance, replaced by Whitebeard in the Locks era, and the death of the crew could not affect Whitebeard at all. Little devil, there I am. The Whitebeard pirates won't lose. Whitebeard's fist smashed, and the atmosphere cracked. Raw gossip, Kaido roared. The wolf's tooth rod wrapped around the armed color and the overlord color bombardment, and after dozens of rounds of battle between the two sides, Kaido gradually fell behind. Kaido's vitality is strong, but in terms of attack, he is not as good as Whitebeard. Whoops. Kaido gasped and stared viciously at the Whitebeard. Whitebeard, your strength is still so strong, little devil. You are more resistant to fighting. Whitebeard grew more and more jealous of Kaido. Kaido is younger than him, and in a few years, his strength will decline, and Kaido can still maintain the peak and the situation will be very unfavorable to the Whitebeard Pirates. Kaido wants to attack again, and he has to rely on his strong vitality and endurance to consume Whitebeard. Suddenly, a figure appeared in front of him. It's a change, let me try it with the strongest man in the world. Suyu whispered, Suyu, are you okay? Kaido was a little skeptical. He knew that Suyu had become much stronger, 
but could he really fight with Whitebeard? You must know that even he and Whitebeard were suppressed and beaten. It can be seen that Whitebeard is powerful, leave it to me. Su Yu held the tooth of the demon wolf in his hand and was highly focused. This time his enemy is the strongest man in the world, and he must not relax a little, otherwise he will be attacked by the Whitebeard in his heyday, either dead or injured. Red Dog was attacked by the dying Whitebeard and both vomited several mouthfuls of blood. He was confronted with a Whitebeard in his heyday, much stronger than Whitebeard at the top. If Cap, Kaido, etc. are the strongest at the top of the sea, the current Whitebeard is the top of the top. With a strong physique, super demon fruit ability, top domineering and not weak swordplay, Whitebeard has almost no weakness except for being afraid of water and sea tower stones. Suyu's strength has reached a critical point, and it is very difficult to break through again. Exercising domineering takes time and short-term domineering cannot improve his strength too much. Then he could only start with the demon fruit, whose demon fruit ability was an enhanced black-wing demon. Not only can the two stages of the blade, but also the three stages of the blade. He needs pressure to make him stronger. Whitebeard is the best whetstone. Kaido stared at Suyu's back for a long time, and finally put down the wolf's tooth stick and muffled, I believe in you once but don't die. Whitebeard's shock fruit is so powerful that it is not an exaggeration to call it the strongest superhuman lineage. Golem, Gremlin, want to beat me? You're ten years old. The Whitebeard laughed, and Kong Yunch slashed at Suyu with the power of the shock fruit. Fall on the king. Suyu took out his sword, extremely fast, like a black lightning bolt. The dark green flying slash collided violently with the force of the shock fruit. Bang! The attack of the two produced a huge explosion and both Suyu and Whitebeard ignored the shock wave generated by the explosion and slashed at each other in close proximity. Suyu slashed at the Whitebeard's leg, and the demon wolf's teeth flashed black light, releasing a fierce breath. Whitebeard waved the cloud cut to block the demon wolf's fangs, and slammed them upwards, knocking the demon wolf's fangs away. Little devil, your combat experience is far from mine. The first time I fought, you weren't even born yet, Whitebeard said. Suyu's brow frowned slightly and the white beard was so fast that even his attack so fast could be resisted in time, and he counterattacked with it. It is hard to imagine how much Whitebeard's strength weakened at the top of the period, and he was successfully attacked by Skewyad. Whitebeard swung his sword and slashed at Suyu heavily. This knife went down, and it absolutely cut Suyu. Even Suyu's steel skin couldn't stop this knife. The huge pressure made Suyu's heart beat rapidly, quickly developing the Black Wing Great Demon Fruit ability and stimulating his own potential. At the moment of the thousand guns, Suyu narrowed his eyes, and a long light blue sword appeared in his hand. Boom! Kong Yun cut against the pale blue long sword, and the ground under Suyu's feet cracked, and the ground was like a spider's web, extending outward for hundreds of meters before it could stop. Whitebeard was surprised that this knife was actually blocked by Suyu. Just now Kaido suffered a loss under his move, and Suyu was actually fine. Little devil, where did your sword come from? Whitebeard asked. Suyu gritted his teeth. The strength of the white beard was really great. After blocking this knife, his arms were shaking. Defeat me, just tell you. Suyu hummed coldly. The pale blue sword in his hand was very long, more like a spear than a sword. Moonlight sword. In the first stage of the Alquiola's return to the blade, a long sword made of rigor was formed in his hand, and he was also able to throw it, which was very powerful. Suyu condensed the long sword with his own strength, as long as his own strength was endless. This sword could not be broken. The white bearded Kong Yun cut couldn't cut off the Moonlight Sword either. After awakening the Moonlight Sword ability, Suyu's physique was one point stronger, and he was closer to awakening the Demon Fruit and performing the second stage of the Return Blade. Whitebeard, I hope you can put more pressure on me. Suyu whispered. Whitebeard heard his words and shouted angrily, Good little devil. They even used me as a sparring partner. How bold. He clenched his fists and a transparent air shield appeared on his fist. Air shock. Such a close air shock. Even Kaido was going to vomit blood and get hurt. Kaido heart tightened as he watched. Can Suyu's steel skin block Whitebeard's air shock? Such a close air earthquake. Whitebeard still hated to shoot. Even if Ling Ling came, she would be hurt a lot. Don't die, my son-in-law. In the face of Whitebeard's terrifying blow, Suyu's heart was like stopping water, and the strong pressure made his heart tremble. The demon fruit awakening seemed to be right in front of us. Success can be awakened at any time. Chapter 129 Suyu threw out the moonlight sword and detonated it. Bang! The violent turbulent flow of energy flattened the ground layer after layer, and the uninhabited island shook, and the ground cracked open a series of huge openings, as if it would collapse at any moment. Golem la 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 gremlin. Very thoughtful. I actually use this method to block my air shock. The moonlight sword explosion generated a huge amount of energy, colliding with the power of the air shock weakening the air shock force. A move that could have hit Suyu hard was so cracked. Whitebeard knew that Suyu was not simple, and he absolutely could not underestimate it, and he must show his true ability. At the age of 16, you have reached this level, and your talent is even more terrifying than Ling Ling. Whitebeard jumped into the air, 
and Kong Yun cut into the winding armed color domineering and overlord color domineering, and slashed downward. His knife was once indistinguishable from Roger's, even Kaido. He must take out the ability of the bottom of the pressure box to resist. Suyu's eyes lit up, and taking advantage of the smoke and dust just now, he regained his grip on the demon wolf's teeth in his hand. Pale Xi'an energy envelops the tooth of the demon wolf. He fused the moonlight sword with the demon wolf's tooth. Just like in Naruto, Yuakai had put Suzu on nine tails. White beard, your time has come to an end. Suyu roared, fall on the king. The sword in Suyu's hand seemed to transform into a huge demon wolf, revealing its vicious fangs to the fallen white beard. Trying to swallow it in one bite. Bang, the two large fast knives did not really collide in everything separated by more than 10 centimeters. Volley collision. It's like the scene when Whitebeard fought Roger. Whitebeard's heart shook, so he was only 16 years old, and his strength was already close to Roger. It's incredible. Even if he had seen countless geniuses on the sea, it was hard to believe that there would be such a strong talent. Finally, the two supreme fast knives touched again. The power of the moonlight sword sputtered onto Whitebeard's body, causing tiny wounds. Whitebeard gritted his teeth and increased his strength. You little devil. It's really like Roger back then. Suyu's arm cracked and a large amount of blood flowed. His current physique is not as good as Whitebeard. This time the collision was injured by Whitebeard. But Whitebeard was also hurt by him. Both sides have damage. Roger, don't compare that guy to me. So you gritted his teeth and said strongly, Little devil, your arm can't hold it anymore. Tough with me so many tricks. The power of the vibration has penetrated deep into your arm. Soon, your arm will be destroyed, and even the best doctor will not be able to cure your arm. Whitebeard said in a condensed voice, how powerful his shock fruit was. He knew best, even the Eater himself will be repulsed to a certain extent, and others will be hit by the force of the shock fruit, either dead or maimed. This is the power that allows him to ascend to the throne of the strongest man in the world, known by countless people as the strongest Superman demon fruit power. So you grinned and took a few steps back, holding his sword in his left hand, the tip of which was aimed at the white beard. The battle will continue and no one can destroy me, not even your shock fruit ability. Whitebeard stared at Suyu, and a familiar figure flashed in his mind. That figure was once the strongest in the world. His strongest throne was taken from that man. I was wrong, you're not like Roger, you're more like Clocks. Whitebeard said in a deep voice. He saw infinite ambition in Suyu's eyes. Suyu fought with him, definitely with some purpose. This kind of look is something Roger doesn't have. Exactly like Clocks of the Year. Am I like Clocks? Then do you want to do it with me? Suyu quipped. Whitebeard was originally a carder of the Locks Pirate Regiment, and was a member of the Locks Pirate Regiment along with Golden Lions, Big Mama, Kaido, John, Wang Zia and others. Golem la 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 gremlin. Don't be too arrogant. You will undoubtedly lose today. Beat you. I'll go to Kaido to settle the score. Whitebeard laughed. Fall on the king. The dark green sword chi slashed at Whitebeard. Air shock. Whitebeard swung his fist and exploded the sword chi. Without waiting for him to breathe, Suyu projected the moonlight sword. Whitebeard turned and dodged the moonlight sword. The moonlight sword fell into the sea, setting off a huge explosion, and the sea tumbled in turbulence, setting off a large wave of tens of meters. The Whitebeard skimmed his eyes to the sea behind him and his expression was solemn. Suyu was too strong, and no one in the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment was Suyu's opponent except him. This is very bad for the Whitebeard Pirates. Kaido on the side is looking at the tiger. If Kaido also participates in the war, the direction of this war will be completely changed. Don't allow Whitebeard to think about it more. Suyu attacked, and the illusory demon wolf shadow manifested, and the ferocious chi climbed onto Whitebeard's body. Soon, Whitebeard sensed Suyu's intentions. Little devil. I will strike the vibration into your body and destroy your flesh and blood. You punched this force into me and wanted to learn my way of fighting? Whitebeard said quietly. Kong Yun cut through, and Suyu's body rose backwards to dodge this blow. The devil wolf's teeth were picked up, and the Whitebeard could not dodge, and he cut his shoulder. The scarlet blood beads were attached to the demon wolf's teeth, and Suyu flicked it gently, throwing the Whitebeard's blood away. Worthy of being the strongest man in the world, I thought that knife could hit you hard. Suyu condensed his voice. Little devil. Don't you dare to confront me. Whitebeard skimmed his eyes at his own wounds. This wound was not deep, but it represented that Suyu was constantly approaching him. However, the outcome of the battle was already doomed, and Suyu's body was full of vibrating power. Destroying Suyu's physique every moment, continuing to fight, it is definitely he who wins. Moreover, Suyu's right hand was also injured and could not be used, which was equivalent to losing an arm. How could Suyu, who had lost an arm, continue to fight with him? The corners of Suyu's mouth rose, and he was not angry when he heard Whitebeard's words. Whitebeard brought him great pressure, and the force of the vibration was even stronger than he had imagined. Even if you block Whitebeard's attack, the vibrational force will invade your body, causing you great damage. This force cannot be defended, but can only be resisted. The longer you fight, the better it is for Whitebeard. However, his vibrating power was useless to Suyu now. 
he has learned a new ability. It's also the ability he's always wanted, of a drive regeneration. In the Grim Reaper, a small number of voids have the ability to regenerate at speed, and when they are promoted to the broken face, they all give up overspeed regeneration for stronger attack power. Only Elquiola kept it. In addition to the internal organs and brain, the rest of the body can be reborn in a very short time after being destroyed. Suyu's Blackwing Demon Fruit had been strengthened by the system, and the super speed regeneration of his awakening could even regenerate his internal organs. As long as the brain is not destroyed, he cannot die. With his deep development of the Demon Fruit ability, sooner or later, even the brain can be reborn. He will truly become an undead creature. To fight with you, you must have a strong physique, otherwise you will soon be killed by this pervasive vibrational force. Suyu whispered, Little Devil. Whether it is an outbreak or a protracted battle, I am the strongest. Whitebeard said proudly, the strongest position, it's time to let it out. Suyu looked directly at the Whitebeard, and his war spirit sword. Chapter 130 Elsewhere on the uninhabited island, the members of the Whitebeard pirates couldn't help but exhale when they saw Whitebeard injured. Daddy was injured. That 16-year-old devil is so strong. Damn. I'm going to help Daddy. Can't let Daddy fight alone. You're crazy. Didn't you see Kaido standing by and watching the battle? Your past words. Kaido will definitely attack you. Even if Kaido stops me, I'm going to help daddy too. No one can stop me. Diamond Jaws, who was battling Quinn, was worried and looked at Whitebeard from time to time. You still want to meddle in that level of fighting? Don't be delusional. Their battles are not something that the trash can join. Quinn's merciless taunt. Quinn was also surprised that Suyu's combat strength could even compete with Whitebeard, which was too incredible, and it was a fantasy. But the facts were in front of him. Plus he had heard before that Suyu's combat strength was extraordinary. Thinking of the powerful talent that Suyu had shown in the Land of Peace, Quinn quickly accepted that level of fighting, rushing to join the Nine Dead for a lifetime. You say I'm a trash fish, but aren't you the same trash fish who fight with me? Jaws sneered. Quinn reacted with rage, I'm going to kill you today. Quinn fired lasers that bombarded Jaws. Jaws retreated under the dense laser. Maga tried to support Whitebeard, but was stopped by Yamato. If you want to intervene in the Battle of the Adults, you are not qualified enough, Yamato roared. Fire Dragon Gossip. The Fire Dragon King's flames burned fiercely, and the wolf's tooth rod slammed heavily into Magao's body. Malgao's pupils bulged, he spat out a mouthful of blood, and his body crashed into the ground like a meteor. The immortal Kinian dissipated, and Malgao was half kneeling on the ground, panting heavily, and the corners of his mouth were still bleeding continuously. What a strong force, this guy is really tough. Margo touched the wound on his abdomen. It's a overlord colored winding attack. This young girl actually mastered the overlord color entanglement. Damn. The wound can't be recovered for the time being, and it's very bad for me. Damage caused by the overlord color is difficult to recover, and his immortal bird fruit ability cannot quickly heal wounds. Margo looked worriedly at Whitebeard, as the situation was getting worse for them. On the sea, the ships of the world government are approaching this uninhabited island. Adult discover the ship of the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment and the Hundred Beast Pirate Regiment. They fought fiercely on the island. The current situation is unclear. A CP0 member reports to the captain. The CP0 captain, a bald head, heard the news and said lightly, approaching at the end of their battle. Understood. The bald captain looked in the direction of the uninhabited island and chuckled, two Imperial Pirate Regiments, after destroying you, I will definitely get the reward of the five old stars. The Sea Emperor was very strong, and under normal circumstances. He did not dare to provoke the Sea Emperor. But how much combat power can the Emperor of the Seas, who has just finished the Great War, maintain? 50%? 30%? Or less? He was looking forward to it. My lord, are we really going to fight the Emperor of the Seas? I fear there will be danger. A CP0 member whispered. There will definitely be dangers, and dangers also represent opportunities, and if we seize this opportunity, we will definitely be able to get ahead. The bald captain had a determined look in his eyes. The two Sea Emperors are at war, and he also happens to be in the nearby sea and this opportunity is unattainable. I don't know how long I'll have to wait if I miss this time. Meanwhile, behind the CP0 ship, Jack's boat is approaching. Dot. On the battlefield, Suyu changed his sword and changed his sword with his right hand again. When Bai Beard looked at it, his heart was slightly shocked. He clearly remembered that Suyu's arm was injured just now, and he could no longer hold the knife. How can I hold the knife again? It looks as if it's back to where it was. Little devil, you, Whitebeard said in surprise. Kaido next to him also looked at Suyu in surprise. This resilience was stronger than him. He can't quickly recover his arm that was beaten by Whitebeard. He knew very well the power of the Whitebeard to shake the fruit, and he could not dissolve it, but could only resist hard. Suyu, you're giving me more and more surprises. A thought arose in Kaido's mind. Suyu will not really be able to beat Whitebeard. Kaido was startled by his own thoughts, and he shook his head hurriedly to dispel the idea. Whitebeard was a man who could crush him. No matter how strong Suyu was, 
He couldn't have beaten Whitebeard. The only person who can defeat Whitebeard is himself. Su Yu shook his head unhurriedly and made a rattling sound. A new round of fighting has begun. Whitebeard, you have to be ready. Su Yu's eyes lowered, and he said in a condensed voice, I'm no longer the same, little devil. Even if you are strong. Before the Whitebeard could finish speaking, Su Yu rushed to him. The clouds swept through. Whitebeard thought that Su Yu would still be like the last time, leaning back to dodge, and he was ready to give Su Yu an air shock. Who knows? Su Yu raised his arm and used his flesh and blood body to block the cloud cut. Click. Kong Yun cut into Su Yu's arm. The wolf's teeth cleaved, leaving a huge scar on Whitebeard. The white bearded pupils shrank suddenly, the wound extended from the shoulder to the lower abdomen. A large amount of blood flew out, and a sharp pain came into the mind. He was confused. Where there is such a battle, he didn't care at all about his own physical injuries, injuring the enemy 800 and losing 1002. Whitebeard, wearing injuries for injuries, is not something he has never encountered but he has never encountered someone as cruel as Su Yu. Whitebeard quickly returned to his senses and cut off one of Su Yu's arms. It's no use, I told you, a new battle has begun. Su Yu laughed. The arm recovers at a speed visible to the naked eye, and in the blink of an eye, it changes back to its original form. With the ability to regenerate at an overdrive, he doesn't have to care about injuries, and the injury for injury playing style is the best for him. After awakening the ability to regenerate at an ultra-fast speed, the pain of the broken arm was almost reduced to nothing. He didn't feel any pain at all. Su Yu's arm flipped, and the devil wolf's teeth stabbed at Whitebeard. Disgusting ability. I don't believe you can recover indefinitely. Whitebeard was shocked by Su Yu's resilience, but he believed that there were limits and weaknesses in his abilities, and as long as he found the weaknesses or broke the limits, he would definitely be able to kill Su Yu. See Quake. Whitebeard's fist trapped around the transparent air shield and smashed into Su Yu's body. Bang. Cracks appeared in the atmosphere, and the sea earthquake that ate the Whitebeard at close range. Su Yu's body cracked inch by inch, as if it would turn into a pile of broken meat at any time. Burst. The wolf's teeth pierced into Whitebeard's body. Little devil. Now you're dead. Whitebeard spewed out a mouthful of blood and murmured. The next second, Su Yu's body recovered at an extremely fast speed. Sorry to disappoint you, I didn't hurt at all. Su Yu said lightly. How can that be? Whitebeard looked at Su Yu in disbelief, withstanding his seat tremors at close range. He wasn't even dead. The wounds are all healed. What a powerful resilience. What's wrong with your recovery ability? This should not be your demon fruit ability, Whitebeard said in a deep voice. As far as he knew, only the undead birds in the Esper species had the ability to recover. The resilience of the Magao immortal bird is also far inferior to that of Suyu. His attacks are domineering. Suyu's resilience seemed to ignore the domineering, which meant that it was not the demon fruit ability. Want it? I can give it to you. Suyu grinned, revealing a mouthful of large white teeth. Chapter 131 Little Devil Don't think you'll beat me that way. Whitebeard didn't believe Suyu's words at all. The resilience of this horror may be the talent that Suyu himself carries, otherwise it is impossible to explain why this restorative force is not afraid of domineering. Unfortunately, Whitebeard couldn't have imagined it. Suyu's Blackwing Demon Fruit was higher than the other fruits, not only immune to the sea and the sea tower stone, but also could not restrain his domineering spirit. Whitebeard, your time has come to an end. Kaido laughed. Old times, it won't be easy to fall lonely. Want to beat me? It's too early for you. Earthquake. Whitebeard was furious and unleashed an indiscriminate attack. With a full blow, the uninhabited island cracked open and began to collapse. The island could no longer withstand their battle. Whitebeard shaking ability, in particular, is enough to easily destroy an island. Crazy. You guy. Kaido was surprised that after the uninhabited island collapsed, many pirates would fall into the sea. Not only the Hundred Beast Pirate Regiment, but even the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment will suffer heavy losses. Whitebeard, you're smart, Su Yu said lightly. Whitebeard's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and he wanted to leave Su Yu behind. This little monster is incredibly powerful. The IQ is also very high. Even his purpose was guessed. Su Yu wanted to pull out the Devil Wolf's fangs, but Whitebeard suddenly grabbed his sword. Little Devil, you can't be left behind, or the sea will become more chaotic. Whitebeard said quietly. More messy? Su Yu sneered. Isn't the sea chaotic now? The four maritime emperors fought for territory seized territory from each other, the seven martial seas legitimately plundered, and the navy was powerless to suppress the new world. The sea is already in a mess, even if there is me, how chaotic can it be? The sea can have such chaos today, thanks to One Piece Roger, otherwise the number of pirates would be more than 90% less. Whitebeard shook his head, Roger's purpose is to make the world free, and you don't understand Roger's ambitions. Don't be funny, let people get free, freedom to hurt others free to rob the gold bailey, or is it a free sea of burning and looting? Pirates are not adventurers. Do you really think that pirates are a very righteous being? Su Yu's eyes hung low, and his eyes shone with essence. He never thought of pirates as good people, nor will it call itself a good person. Pirates are evil people, and there is not a single good man among 10,000 pirates. Roger was not a good man either, and his words before his death sent countless people out to sea, 
causing a surge in the number of pirates, all of whom were evildoers. It has caused serious harm to countless countries. Roger may want to deal with the world government, but it is too naive to rely on pirates against the world government. Of course, he does not think that the world government represents justice, this world is a deformed world, and there are too few good people. The Draco provided by the world government is the root cause of the evil in the world. Whitebeard was silent. He didn't know how to refute Suyu's words, because he knew that Suyu was right. His hometown of Sphinx had also been attacked by pirates, if it were not for the Sphinx flying the flag of the Whitebeard pirates. They will also be attacked by pirates. In the end, he only relied on his powerful power to deter those pirates. Those pirates did not dare to deal with the forces of the world government and the powerful pirate regiment, and only dared to target the weak villages. Whitebeard took a deep breath, his eyes firm. Whatever, I'm going to keep you. You can't stay. Suyu's left hand condensed the moonlight sword and stabbed into Suyu's abdomen. Whitebeard's other fist covered the air shield and bombarded Suyu. Burst. Suyu decisively detonated the moonlight sword. Detonating the moonlight sword at such a close distance, Whitebeard's face changed drastically, and he hurriedly ran the armed color to wrap his whole body. Suyu took the opportunity to pull out the demon wolf's fangs. Bang. The huge explosion caused the ground under the two men's feet to burst open and sink to the bottom of the sea. At the same time, the members of the two sea thieves who were fighting also all rushed to the ship. The island is collapsing in inches, and if you don't get on the ship, you won't be able to get on it. The collapse of the island will cause a series of reactions. The sea rolls, the undercurrent of the seabed surges, and once it falls into the water, life and death are up to the sky. No one wants to die, especially those with demonic fruit abilities. Once they were swept into the water by the waves, they were completely finished and they had no life at all. That little chance of escape is only available to those who do not have the ability of demon fruit. Run. If we don't get on the boat again, we'll all die. The island is going to be gone. Why should Daddy just destroy the island? Then we're going to be unlucky too. Stupid. Daddy is thinking about us. The fighting situation is very unfavorable to us. Continue to fight. We will certainly suffer heavy casualties, and only by ending the war in time can we save more people. What? Is Daddy going to lose? Daddy is the strongest man in the world. How can it be defeated? The strength of the Void Wing is very strong. Even the old father has been injured, and there is also a hundred beasts Kaido who is also the Emperor of the Sea sitting next to him. Even if Whitebeard Daddy defeats the Void Wing, he may be attacked by Kaido. Have you forgotten how Kaido killed Captain Mita? Damn the hundred beasts pirates. We lost too much this time. Whitebeard Daddy has fallen into the sea. Go save Daddy. People who don't have the ability of demon fruit hurry up. The Whitebeard pirates were anxious and worried about Whitebeard's safety. Without Whitebeard, the Whitebeard pirates would have died in name only. The Whitebeard pirates leaned on the Whitebeard. Fruitless pirates jump into the sea in search of Whitebeard. Margao worries that sharks are defeated by Pegeven and are not known whether they will live or die. If the sharkmen were all right, he would surely be able to rescue Whitebeard. So you, how are you? The ground under Kaido's feet also cracked so he had to transform into a green dragon and fly into the air. I'm okay. Suyu's voice came. The smoke cleared, Suyu stood above the sea, and the white beard was gone. Kaido was relieved to see this, Suyu was fine, otherwise there would be no one to balance his big filial piety. Coupled with the strength shown by Suyu, Kaido did not want Suyu to have an accident. The Hundred Beasts Regiment needs Suyu very much. Did the white bearded old man fall into the sea? Kaido said, swept away by the undercurrent of the seabird. Suyu nodded. He just wanted to grab white beard but the undercurrent at the bottom of the sea was too turbulent, and without waiting for him to react, he took Whitebeard away. Taken away by the undercurrent of the seabed, the Whitebeard is more fierce and less auspicious, and it is very likely that he will not survive. Kaido was pleasantly surprised. Whitebeard has no fishman blood, and if he is swept into the seabed, he will undoubtedly die. That is the undercurrent of the seabed, even if you don't eat the devil fruit, it is difficult to survive being swept away by the undercurrent of the seabed. This sea is surging with undercurrents, very unsafe. Organize the evacuation of people. So you pointed to the sea below. If you don't evacuate, most of the elite of the Hundred Beast Regiment will lose here. After this war, his reputation will definitely skyrocket. It was also another purpose of his battle against Whitebeard. Fight Whitebeard. As long as you survive to get a lot of prestige, the name will resound through the sea. For example, Clockdial, who successfully survived after challenging Whitebeard, was favored by the world government and was selected as one of the seven martial seas. Whitebeard, as the strongest man in the world, will bring unprecedented prestige from a battle with him, greater than the previous times, and he not only survived from Whitebeard's hands, but also fought with Whitebeard. Now Whitebeard was swept into the undercurrent of the seabed, and he was unscathed. Once the news spreads, the impact is enormous. The world's strongest throne is possible to change. He will get more modification points soon. The owner of the Hundred Beasts will also be replaced. Chapter 132 Well, Listen to you. Kaido agreed that his purpose had been achieved. The Whitebeard Pirate Regiment has already paid a heavy price, and it is certain that it will not compete with the Hundred Beasts for territory in the near future. 
he was able to plunder more territory, even some of the territory occupied by the Whitebeard Pirates. The battered Whitebeard Pirates will not clash with them again for a short time. Little ones, we won. Get on board all. Kaido roared, in the form of the Green Dragon. His voice was also louder. Everyone heard Kaido's voice. Ha ha ha. We won. The Whitebeard Pirates are not our opponents at all. A pirate of the Hundred Beasts cheered. We will be the strongest pirates in the future. The Hundred Beasts are the head of the Emperor of the Sea. The old guy with the white beard should give way. Hey hey. Lord Suyu is so strong. He even solved the white beard. Boss Kaido had lost to white beard so many times, but he didn't expect to borrow the hand of Lord Suyu this time and defeat white beard. The strongest position in the world should be Lord Suyu. White beard has lost. Lord Suyu is so strong. Will he compete with Boss Kaido for the captain's position in the future? As soon as these words came out, many pirates were silent and did not dare to speak. The embers of the fire also heard these words and ignored the pirate who spoke, and the frightened pirate almost fell to his knees. Shut your mouth and don't talk nonsense. The embers of the fire are cold and cold. Got it. I definitely won't say it again. The pirate felt a cold sweat, and his eyes were frightened, afraid that the embers would slaughter him in anger. The members of the hundred beasts gathered, and soon the ship sailed out of the turbulent sea. The whitebeard pirates sailed out with only five or six boats, and many more were buried in the sea forever. In the sky, Yamato flew to Suyu's side. Lord, your victory over Whitebeard proves that you are stronger than Kaido's, and you will become the leader of the Hundred Beasts in the future. Kaido was right next to him, his face pitch black. This great filial son was really a rectum, and said in front of him about changing the leader of the Hundred Beasts regiment. I'm not afraid he'll get angry. If he hadn't been restrained by Yamato's power, he would have to give Yamato a thunderous slap. Yamato, hurry up and get back. Kaido looked at Yamato angrily. Yamato didn't give Kaido any face and looked at Kaido in a daze. Your strength is not good. What happened to making Lord Suyu the leader of the Hundred Beasts Regiment? You are not convinced to fight with me. You can't even beat me. What face is the leader of the Hundred Beasts Regiment? Me. Big and you stupid. I am your father. It doesn't matter if you are my father. I support Lord Suyu as the leader. It's time for you to abdicate. Yamato did not give Kaido face until the demon fruit was modified. Now that his strength is stronger, he is still loyal to Suyu, and he does not give Kai more face. Yamato, don't say it. Suyu stopped Yamato and the leader of the Hundred Beasts Regiment was definitely going to change, but not here. After returning to the Land of Peace, it is appropriate to change the leader. Yamato retreated behind Suyu and glared at Kaido viciously. Contrarian. Kaido's transformed green dragon was about to be turned into a black dragon by Yamato. Jack is over there, I'm going to pick Jack up, Suyu said to Kaido. By the way, modify Jack's demon fruit ability. Good. Jack is up to you. Dot. On the CPO's ship. A member of the team ran behind the bald captain and reported loudly, Repair your honor. There was a boat approaching us in the back. The ship is suspected to be the drought jack of the hundred beast pirates. The bald captain waved his hand and didn't care at all. Don't worry about him, just a three disasters. Don't dare to move us. In other words, Kaido will not attack us easily. The team member nodded silently, and he thought the same thing. Their ships were among the world's top government ships, huge and equipped with a large number of artillery. Pirate ships cannot be compared at all although not as good as the legendary Pluto ships, but also definitely more than 99% of the ships. When pirates see their ships, they usually turn the bow and dare not confront them. There are only three disasters in one area, and I dare not be reckless. Suddenly, a loud roar came. Who do you think I am? Lean me up. The CPO team members widened their eyes and looked back in disbelief. What? Does he really dare to lean up? The bald captain was stunned. Why didn't the other party play cards according to the routine? Just when they were surprised, Jack had already climbed onto the CP-0 ship and began to kill. The two machetes covered the armed color, and they slashed quickly, and under the huge force, even the steel was easily cut off by him. A CPO member sneaks up on Jack from behind, slashing Jack in the back with a knife, bringing up a trail of blood. Jack turned violently and slashed, hacking the CPO members to death. His life force is strong, ordinary attacks do not work for him, and he can continue to fight even if his body is injured. Jack, I haven't seen you in a long time. How come your strength hasn't grown at all? Suyu's voice sounded from behind Jack. Suyu, how did you get here? Jack turned his head and was surprised to see that it was Suya. When I returned to the land of peace, I heard about the war and rushed over. Jack looked up and down at Suyu, felt the strong breath emitted by Suyu, and couldn't help but secretly marvel. Suyu became stronger too fast. This breath is no worse than Kaido boss. You think I'm a monster like you, and I can get stronger in a short time. Jack said. Suyu smiled slightly. I have a way to improve your strength. Do you want to try? Jack's eyes lit up. So you can become stronger so quickly, there must be a secret. He also wants to get stronger, become stronger like Suyu. What's the solution? Come here. Chapter 133. Jack wondered what Suyu was doing. However, he still honestly walked to Suyu. Don't move. Su put her hand on Jack's shoulder. Since Jack was relatively tall, Suyu flew in the air before touching Jack's shoulder. The bald captain arrived. 
Jack, who gave you the guts, dare to attack our CPO's ship, when he saw Suyu, his pupils shrank suddenly. It was him. Brutal people who have slaughtered more than a hundred CP0 members. Never before, no one had ever slaughtered a hundred CP0 members at once. CP0 is a direct subordinate team of Draco and has a super high status. The captain class can ignore the admiral and not give the admiral face. As a result, few people dare to provoke CP0, and CP0 has been performing tasks outside, which has been very smooth. Even those sea thieves, seeing the CP0 ship, will weigh it a few times and dare not act rashly. When he met Jack today, the bald captain was already very angry, and he didn't expect that in addition to Jack, there was also Suyu present. The bald captain's face was gloomy, and he muffled, Suyu, you guys, are you going to die with CP0 endlessly? Suyu smiled lightly, don't die, it seems that CP0 did it to me first. You dogs, I will slowly clean up, and sooner or later I will kill you all. It's just a bunch of crap, it's okay to scare some of the weak, and for the really strong. You're a bunch of jokes. There are definitely strong people in CP0, but strong people of that level will not be easy to shoot. The other CP0 strength is not enough to reach the top of the sea, and the captain cannot give the admiral face, only because they do things for the Draco people and have a very high status. Instead of having admiral level combat power, the admiral is the face of the world government, claiming to be the strongest combat force, and there are very few strong people who can compete with the admiral. The bald captain was furious and waved his arm and the CP0 members on the ship drew their swords in unison. The blade covered the armed color domineering, and rushed up. Suyu, I know you are very strong, but we have so many people, and every one of them is elite. You alone can't stop us, the bald captain said fiercely. Jack is excited and wants to transform into a mammoth form and kill him. But he found that he could not move, and a huge force came from Suyu's arm, suppressing him in place. Jack is shocked. He is known for his strength, and at the same time he is a fishman and his wrist strength itself is ten times more powerful than that of humans. After eating the mammoth fruit, the strength is even greater. In terms of strength alone, not many people can suppress him. Quinn counted one, and the embers were stronger than him, but the strength of the simple was not as good as his. You suppressed me with one hand, Jack said in disbelief. Quinn couldn't suppress him with one hand. Boss Kaido may be able to do it. But why can Suyu do it? Could it be that Suyu's physique had reached the level of Kaido boss? Jack didn't dare to think about it. A bunch of turkey tile dogs. I'll give you a chance to perform later. Suyu said lightly. During the battle with Whitebeard, he felt great pressure, and under great pressure, awakened the Moonlight Sword and the speed regeneration. Every time his Darkwing Demon Fruit awakens an ability, it will increase his physique once, and all aspects of his ability will increase. Strength, speed, endurance, defense, and more. Awakening the two abilities was equivalent to his body transforming twice in succession. The strength had increased so much that he hadn't been able to suppress Quinn with one hand before, and now he could. System. Modify Jack's demon fruit abilities. So you said in his heart. Ding the host chose to modify Jack's animal lineage elephant fruit ancient mammoth form. Please don't take Jack's hand off Jack's shoulder. Jack's panel power is not bad. So you smiled. Jack's talent is very good, and he is definitely a big general to cultivate well. The point is that Jack is a fisherman and can learn the fisherman karate like jipping, using the current to attack. Unfortunately, due to Jack eating the demon fruit, he will be weak in the sea and unable to learn and practice fisherman karate. So you didn't expect this big man to learn fisherman karate, but only hoped that after modifying Jack's demon fruit ability, he would be able to strengthen his naval combat power. Just as Suyu was thinking, the members of CP0 were already approaching, and the fast knife in their hands was slashing at them from all directions. Bang! The mighty Overlord Color Overlord burst out, stirring up the storm and affecting the celestial phenomenon. The CP0 members who were close to them rolled their eyes and fell down one by one. Thump, thump, thump. Soon, only the bald captain was left on the ship, still struggling to support. His eyes widened, and he stared at Suyu deadly his eyes full of incredulity and shock. You, how can there be such a powerful overlord color? The bald captain asked with difficulty, bearing Suyu's overlord color without fainting. He had exhausted all his strength, barely able to maintain his combat strength, and his combat strength had dropped by at least 45 out of 10. Honestly, your opponent is not me, Suyu said lightly. The bald captain gritted his teeth and forcibly pulled out his gun, aiming it at Suyu and slamming it into six shots. The bullet is wrapped in an armed color, extremely fast, and the power is not small, stronger than the artillery. So you saw that he still dared to shoot, and he couldn't help but shake his head, and the black wings behind him spread out, blocking six bullets. Bang bang bang, the bullet landed on the black wing, making a crashing sound similar to metal. Whoops. Bullets fell to the ground one by one, and the color of the arm gradually receded, turning back to its original gold. The bald captain opened his mouth wide, and Suyu's black wing was unscathed. His attack was entangled in the color of the arm, 
and he could not even break through Suyu's defenses. Such a strong defense. No wonder the data shows that you suspect that you have the physical talent of the big mother. The bald captain's heart sank to the bottom. The left hand quietly reached for the back. Suyu noticed his small movements, but did not care. The most important thing at the moment is to modify Jack's demon fruit ability. These CP0 members are not in a hurry to kill. In fact, if you had found me earlier, you might have succeeded in killing me, Suyu said softly. A few months ago, any CP0 member could arrest him. Now that his strength has reached the top of the sea, he will not lose the wind in the battle with Whitebeard. The crushed Whitebeard can only save some members of the pirate regiment by destroying the island and setting off undercurrents and waves on the seabed. If you want to arrest him, you must send out the three admirals of the navy. However, it was when he was alone, and the three admirals of the navy had a chance. He's not a lone wanderer. The strong men are like clouds. The three major admirals of the navy will come, and they will also touch a nose of ash. Thump. Jack fell to the ground and made a loud noise. The bald captain was surprised that he didn't attack Jack either. How did he fall on his own? Was it Suyugan? At this time, he saw a smile at the corner of Suyu's mouth. Ding congratulations to the host for successfully modifying Jack's demon fruit ability. Jack's demon fruit modified to Animoid Lizard Fruit, Esper Species Galado Form. Chapter 134 Suyu knows Garedo a first-class god from the Pokémon world. According to legend, the mythical beast that created the Earth, the ability to control light and heat, and the ability to create magma, is an extremely powerful existence. Overlord of the Earth. An unconquerable presence. However, the only drawback is that it cannot fly. Even if he can't fly, Gerudo's strength is enough to shake the world. To his surprise, Jack's mammoth fruit had turned into a Gerudo form. Mammoths have no resemblance to Gulado. If the demon fruit of the Red Dog was modified and changed into the Gulado form, Suyu would not be surprised. After all, Gerudo also has the ability to manipulate magma. Galado form, let me see your strength, Jack. Suyu murmured in a low voice. The bald captain opened his mouth, and as soon as he said a word, he felt a strong killing chance. In the next instant, the back of his neck hurt and he lost consciousness. Thump. The bald-headed captain fainted. On the huge ship, only Suyu was still awake. Suyu slowly closed his hand and flew into the sky. Instead of killing the bald captain, he left it to Jack. Jack has just gotten the Gerudo form and needs an opponent. After two hours, Jack woke up, and as soon as he opened his eyes, he remembered that he was on the ship of CP0. CP0. Jack let out a loud roar. With a roar, he woke up the unconscious CP0. A CP0 member woke up, and soon they reacted, refocusing their blades and guns at Jack. How did we faint? And not dead yet. A CP0 member said doubtfully. Don't be stunned. The wings of nothingness exploded with a tyrannical color, knocking us unconscious and somehow he didn't kill us. The captain also fainted. Go and wake up the captain. Fight Drought Jack together. Drought Jack didn't attack when we fainted. What the hell are they doing? A CP0 member ran to the bald captain and shook it gently. The bald captain did not react. He was not stunned, but knocked unconscious by Suyu, and Jack's roar did not wake him up. The CP0 members saw this and snapped two slaps to the bald-headed captain. A tooth was spat out by the bald captain, who was also woken up. The pain coming from his mouth stunned the bald captain, and when he reacted, he was furious. You dare to hit me, find the dead. The bald captain punched through the member with all his might. The bald captain got up and threw the member's bodies on the ground in disgust, but he stomped on his feet fiercely. Damn, you dare to commit a crime, knock out one of my teeth, and kill you is also a cheap you. The bald captain said angrily. My lord, Drought Jack is killing our people, so let's do it. Another CP0 member immediately said. The bald captain looked at Drought Jack, and somehow he felt Drought Jack's strength rise again. Illusion. In a short time, how Jack's power could skyrocket. The bald captain murmured in his heart. Wings of nothingness. The bald captain suddenly remembered Suyu. I don't know. CP0 members shook their heads. Kill. With a wave of his hand, the bald captain held his gun in both hands and fired a bullet wrapped around the armed color at Jack. I'm different. The power given to me by adults is running through my body. Jack roared in anger and spewed out to scorching light. Get out of the way. Don't get hit. One CP0 member yelled. The next moment, the light approached him. The moment it comes into contact with the light. The CP0 member's body disappears. The high temperature and high heat rays directly burned part of the man's body to ashes. Bang. The light swept through the ship, the steel melted in an instant, and the captain's room and activity room on the ship were cut off by the light. The fracture glowed with a hot red light, and the molten iron flowed. The light hit the distance and fell on the seat to set off a wave. CP0 members looked at Jack in horror, fear spreading. How could it be? Drought Jack should not have such an ability. Isn't he an ancient mammoth form power? Can mammoths release light? There are eccentricities. Is it the power of technology? No, I saw him spit it out of his mouth, not like the power of technology. There's no information on the data about Jack's ability to unleash a powerful ray. CP0 members are very good at gathering intelligence, and each member remembers a lot of pirate information. Among them was Drought Jack. It is rumored on the sea that the place where Drought Jack stepped dried up and decayed, 
and eventually all things perished, according to their information. It was just an exaggerated rumor that Drought Jack did not have the power to destroy all things. The so-called dry decay is because Drought Jack will use the elephant trunk to absorb the river water, causing the phenomenon of drying up. The bald captain moved quickly and flashed behind Jack. Six Upanishads. Big wheel gun. The two fingers were joined together, and the strong armed color condensed on both fingers, stabbing at the back of Jack's head. If this hit hit, Jack would undoubtedly die. Whatever creature it is, if you lose your head, you will die. The bald captain condensed. Who do you think I am? Jack roared, his body swelled, crimson armor scales appeared, and spikes sprouted. A stout tail appeared behind it, also wrapped in crimson armor scales, with a blade-like thing at the end. As soon as Jack transformed, the ship began to tilt, rise. A loud roar resumed it through the heavens and the earth, the sea boiled, and billowing lava came out. When magma comes into contact with seawater, it produces a large amount of white smoke. Suyu in the sky was also slightly surprised. This Golado is also too big, Suyu said silently in his heart. In the past Pokemon anime, Gulado only looks like a few meters, and does not belong to the giant beast, and some pictures show that Gulado has tens of meters. How much is it? Suyu does not know. But definitely not more than 100 meters. And the Gulador that Jack transformed into in front of him was more than 300 meters. Is it because Jack is a fish man and is huge in his own right? so he will get bigger after his transformation, Suyu murmured. This reason is a bit ridiculous, and I don't know if the specific situation is as he said. Jack's transformation into Galado is more domineering than what he saw in the anime in his previous life, and fully conforms to the image of the creator of the earth. Suyu touched his chin. Jack is a Galado form. If you get together the Gaioka form and the Rift Seat form later, it will be fun. Chapter 135 The Beast Roared, The Ship Sank, and the members of CP0 couldn't care less about killing Jack. Jack had become too big and the hundreds of meters of the beast showed terrible power, just a roar, and the ears were deafened. The beast moved its hands and set off a strong wind and wave. Gulado did not have the ability to control the wind, but the huge palm of his hand could shoot the wind with a single force. Some of the unsteady CP0 members were fanned out. Some of these weak beings exploded in an instant, turning into a blood mist. Monsters. This guy is a monster. Are we really going to fight such monsters? Too strong, not a dimension at all. Jack's demon fruit is not a mammoth form. What kind of devil fruit is this? Could it be the legendary Esper species? Mythical creature like Kaido? The ship is sinking. We still have a chance to live. He is a demon fruit power, and must be afraid of the sea. As long as the ship is silent, let him fall into the water. It's incapacitation. Victory will belong to us. The members of CP0 jumped into the sea, and they all expected Jack to fall into the water. But anyone with demon fruit ability can't even beat a normal soldier after falling into the water. The bald captain apparently thought of it too, and he retreated backwards as he attacked Jack's transformed Galado. Garbage. Do you think I'm like those ordinary demon fruit abilities? A hot flame appeared in front of Jack's body, forming a large character. Big word boom. This ability can be used by many fire Pokemon, but Gerudo's big character explosion is not the same as the ordinary fire Pokemon big word explosion. Have you ever seen a big character explosion hundreds of meters in size? Covering the ship, it killed a large number of CP0 members who did not have time to escape in one blow. The ship made an explosion sound, and under the attack of the big word explosion, the ship was torn apart, and the hot molten iron fell into the sea. Some CP0 members who jumped into the sea early were unfortunately flooded with molten iron and issued a tragic wail. CP0 members frantically scratched the molten iron and ran armed color resistance. The molten iron was cooled by seawater and soon solidified, sealing the CP0 members in steel. The bald-headed captain survived, lurking in the sea, sensing the death of his men through sight and smell. He was shocked and angry, these were all his subordinates, and after he died, the Draco would definitely blame him. At that time, even if he returns alive, he will be severely punished. Jack, you don't make me feel better, I won't let you go easily. The bald captain was furious and swam toward Jack. Jack's huge body fell into the sea, and to the surprise of the CP0 members, he did not change back to his original form and continued to maintain the appearance of a terrifying beast. Rise, roar, Jack roared, and a large amount of lava appeared, colliding with the seawater and merging to form the earth. In just a dozen seconds, a circle of land formed around him. Seeing this scene, the bald captain and all the CP0 members were stunned. Creating the earth on the sea? What a joke. Is this what humans can do? And why can this giant beast release lava? Isn't that the devil fruit ability of Admiral Sarkarsky? Quirky, so quirky. Capable of unleashing flames and lava. It is definitely an Esper species, or the top being in the Esper species. Otherwise there is not so much ability. Using the power of magma to create the earth, the Red Dog Admiral has done this. The bald captain's eyes widened and he shouted loudly, as if he were telling someone. Jack turned his head and spotted the bald captain. The bald captain's body tensed, goosebumps rose, 
and boundless fear grew in his heart. I want to live. I can't die. The bald captain was anxious and flew into the sky with a moon step. Run quickly into the distance. Sword of the cliff. A huge stone pillar emerged from the bottom of the sea and slammed into the bald-headed captain with great speed. The speed is extremely fast, and the strength is naturally very terrifying. The top of the pillar is fiery red and emits a terrible heat, enough to melt steel. No matter how powerful the enemy is, it is difficult to continue fighting after a blow from the sword of the cliff. The bald captain's half-cut body was destroyed by the sword of the cliff, causing the half-cut body to fall to the bottom of the sea. During the fall, the bald captain looked at the terrifying beast standing on the sea. Being able to unleash flames, rays, lava and manipulate the earth is worthy of the name of Drought Jack. The previous information was all fake, and the real Drought Jack was not a mammoth form capable. It was suspected that there were double fruits, or that he had used some method to disguise his demon fruit ability before, before his death. Captain Skinhead was analyzing Jack's demon fruit abilities. He didn't expect Jack's demon fruit to change direction, mainly because it was impossible. How can the devil fruit change? The probability of the occurrence of double fruits is also greater than the possibility of the change in the ability of the demon fruit. Thump. The bald captain fell into the sea, and his half-cut body gradually sank to the bottom of the sea. A telephone worm hidden behind him broke away from his body, was eroded by the sea and died quickly. The bald-headed captain also lost his life and closed his eyes completely. At sea, Jack was still engaged in a one-sided crushing battle. All the CP0 members' attacks had no effect on him, and the crimson armor scales were so powerful that even attacks with an armor-colored wound would be difficult to inflict damage on him. Only those who are proficient in armed colors and raise them to a very high level can deal effective damage to Jack. In the sky, Sia was very satisfied with Jack's strength. The Gulado form has a variety of abilities, especially the power to create the earth which is important for the future development of the hundred beasts. Jack, this guy, is lucky enough to get the Gulado form. Suyu smiled. Suyu looked at Jack's panel and felt a little pity. If only Jack had a superhuman talent. After absorbing it, his talent for seeing and hearing can also reach the external level. Half an hour later, all CP0 members were killed by Jack and the battle was over. Jack, how do you feel? Suyu fell and looked directly at Jack's eyes. The power given by adults is too strong and I feel that there is infinite power running in my body. I'm going to challenge Whitebeard. Kill the foil beaster. Jack opened his mouth wide and said, and a fierce wind broke out as he spoke. Previously, the hundred beasts collided with the Whitebeard pirates, and his opponents were all flower sword beaster. The other party is fast, and Jack is difficult to attack the other party, which makes Jack very annoyed. Suyu rubbed his ears, and Jack's voice was really loud. It's time to go back. The battle with the Whitebeard pirates is over. What the? The war is over? He hasn't arrived yet. Jack was a little depressed, but did not doubt Suyu's words. After modifying the demon fruit, the object of Jack's loyalty changed from Kaido to Suyu. Jack scratched his head. It was a terrible thing that he had just gained such great power and didn't have the opportunity to show it to the world. Chapter 136 The Land of Harmony Ghost Island The hundred beasts returned triumphantly, making countless pirates cheer and shout loudly to celebrate this victory. This victory represents that the hundred beasts have become the first sea thief group in the new world surpassed the previous Whitebeard pirates. However, after this return, all the Carders were nervous and did not have the joy they should have after the victory. They all vaguely guessed something. This war was not won under Kaido's leadership. It's Suyu. He also shot Whitebeard into the sea. It turned out that Kaido led the team and lost to the Whitebeard pirates every time. Kaido also lost to Whitebeard more than once. If it weren't for Whitebeard's inability to kill Kaido, the hundred beasts would have been wiped out by the Whitebeard pirates long ago. The atmosphere on the ship has become more and more strange, and when Suyu returns, the biggest change in the history of the Hundred Beasts will happen. Mary said in a deep voice. Flying Liu flew off used around his hands, expressionless, calmly said, This is also no way to do things, the Hundred Beasts regiment respects strength. Suyu showed that he was not weaker than Boss Kaido, and he would certainly not be subordinate to Boss Kaido. I only hope that the Hundred Beasts don't get weaker. Phosphor was originally a member of CP9 under the world government and claimed to have a talent that was not inferior to Luke's. A few years ago, the world government issued an order to put him in charge of escorting the rubber fruit, and as a result, the red-haired shanks was robbed and the rubber fruit was taken away. The world government arrested Phosphor and put him in prison, and Phosphor, unwilling to die, escaped from the prison and founded the pirate regiment. After breaking into the new world, he encounters Kaido, and eventually joins the hundred beasts under the threat of Kaido's wolf's tooth stick, becoming one of the flying six. Phosphor wanted to be a big kanban, and has been working hard to become a big kanban for so many years. He didn't want to see the hundred beasts weaken. Otherwise, the world government will send a naval fleet, and the hundred beasts will not be able to resist, and he will not be able to escape the disaster. What are you worried about, that level of decision, we can't influence it at all. Sasaki said with a smile. 
he didn't care who was the captain of the hundred beasts. In his eyes, whether it was Kaido or Suyu, whoever was the captain was the same. Both of them are as strong as monsters, with the power to dominate the sea. Whoever is the captain of the ship can keep the position of the hundred beasts. Peg even leaned against the wall, her legs crossed, very arrogant. He also had arrogant capital and performed very well in the war. The record is stronger than that of other flying hexadecimals. What are you worried about? It is already a foregone conclusion that Lord Suyu will become the captain of the ship, Peg even said casually. He knew that Suyu's men were as strong as clouds. This time the captain is going to be replaced. Maria and the others looked at Peg even, who had long understood that Peg even was Suyu's man. A long time ago, I called Suyu an adult. In the case that he became a flying six, and Suyu was also a flying six, he still had great respect for Suyu. Are you so sure? Mary asked curiously. Soon. You will know how powerful Lord Suyu is. Becky Wynn shook her head. What's going on with your devil fruit? Weren't you an ancient spinner saw form before? Mary asked the biggest question in her own heart, and the biggest question in the hearts of others. The pirates on board concentrated their attention and waited for Peggy Van's answer. Peggy Van was indeed in the form of a spinner saw before, which is very funny to pirates can prove. More than once they had seen Peggy Van transform into an Acanthosaurus. Today, Peggy Van's form on the battlefield is powerful and strange which makes them scratch their heads. That domineering image, they can still recall clearly. It's not long gone, but you'll understand everything later, and now is not the time. Without Suyu's orders, Peggy Wan was reluctant to tell the truth. But even if he didn't say it, Suyu would soon announce the news. The fact that he changed the demon fruit could not be hidden at all. The outside world will definitely investigate this matter, and the hundred beasts will also ask him again and again, only because he acted so brightly. The powerful and terrifying posture of the evil dragon has made countless people frightened and frightened. At the bow of the ship, Kaido held a gourd, tons of tons of wine. Quinn and Embers were in the back, one smoking a cigar and one on one knee against the railing. Boss Kaido, don't drink it. The Embers of the fire condensed. Oh. What nonsense are you talking about? Why can't I drink? Kaido slammed the ship's railing. The ship's railing shattered under his immense power. Boss Kaido, what if Suyu comes back and wants the captain's position? I'll talk about it later. Kaido glanced at Quinn, then lifted the wine gourd again and began to pour tons of his own wine. Quinn was helpless and muttered, Jack that bastard, I don't know where to run. Sure, sword horse is draining Sauron. Hey, hey, Sauron had hundreds of pounds of iron tied to his arms and swung his sword hard. Sweat wet the shirt. Yoma raised his head and looked at the hundred beasts that were about to dock. I'm finally back. Yoma touched his chin, thought for a moment, and then pulled out the black knife Kashui. Sauron. Look after this knife, Yoma said. Sauron's eyes widened and he stared at Yoma tightly. The dark armed color covered the body of the sword, and Yoma's body emitted a terrifying purple aura. A knife flow cut the sea. The huge sword chi cut opened the sea, and the part that was cut could not be closed for a long time. The sword chi went straight to the hundred beasts. Kaido, who was standing at the bow of the ship, reacted quickly, and this move was aimed at him. Jundi Li Long Sheng Jun. Kaido's overlord color is wrapped around the wolf's tooth rod, and its head becomes very large. He swung his wolf's tooth stick and smashed it on the sword chi. Bang! Kaido's eyes bulged and his arms shook. What a power! Who is hidden in the land of peace? It was possible to deliver such a powerful slash. This slash reminded him of his former rival Mitsuki Mita. No! This slash was even more fierce than Mitsuki Mita. Kaido muttered in his heart. Boom! The shock wave generated by the collision of the attack made the hundred beasts shake and the sea tumble. Who's that? How dare you sneak up on the hundred beasts? Embers transformed into pterodactyls and shouted. Yoma smiled and flew into the air. Lord Suyu command. Ten blades. Yoma responded. The expression under the Yan disaster ember mask was strange. Such a powerful sword hero. Was it Suyu's subordinate? Really fake? Can Suyu subdue such a strong subordinate? Not only did the embers have some doubts, but Kaido and Quinn also had doubts in their hearts. Why attack us suddenly? I thought you were the enemy, I'm sorry. Yoma smiled. The forehead of the embers of the fire disaster burst out, such a perfunctory reason, the other party really did not put him in the eyes. Do you want to kill us? Of course not, I will not kill you until I get the order from Lord Suyu. Yoma waved his hand. You mean you can kill us at any time? Yam Yan's eyes narrowed, and his killing intent soared. See how you understand it. Yoma seemed to be smiling. Several figures slowly appeared behind him. Chapter 137 the breath of terror emanated, and the body of the embers of the fire was tense, staring dead at the dragon horse and the figures behind him. Rune Yuan, are you going to be an enemy of Boss Kaido too? The embers of the fire are cold and cold. It's not an enemy of Boss Kaido's, it's just that the captain's position is indeed time to change. Under the leadership of Lord Suyu, the Hundred Beasts Regiment will move towards a brighter future. Rune Yuan shook her head. She was very grateful to Kaido. It was Kaido who brought her and Pejawin to the land of peace and taught them to be domineering. Kaido is also a good friend of her father's, and strictly speaking, she should call Kaido uncle. Ember, believe me, 
I won't hurt Boss Kaido. Even Boss Kaido still has hope to become the King of Thieves in Shanghai, Rune Yuan said in a condensed voice. She had talked to Suyu about some things, and knew that Suyu's ambitions were great, and her goal was not to become One Piece from beginning to end. It's the world's overlord. Kaido's goal is to become One Piece, which does not conflict with Suyu's goal. After the Hundred Beasts change owners, Kaido can also continue to search for the main text of history, log onto the Island of Legends, and become One Piece. If the Embers don't believe in Rune Yuan, aren't the goals of the pirates all to become One Piece? Suyu wanted the position of captain of the Hundred Beasts Regiment. He doesn't want to be One Piece? Sorry, I can't believe you. Yang Yan shook his head, he had been following Kaido for a long time. At that time, he was caught by the people of the world government to do research, and he was tortured inhumanly every day, and it was Kaido who rescued him when he was young. From then on, Ember vowed to follow Kaido to death and help Kaido become One Piece. He firmly believes that Kaido is the legendary warrior Joey Boy and believes that Kaido can change the world. Hey, you guys, don't wait for Suyu to return, are you ready to start a war? Kaido roared. Of course not. Ryoma shrugged his shoulders and slowly fell. The other ten blades also followed the Ryoma back to the surface. The hundred beasts stalked, and the pirates disembarked one after another, and the atmosphere did not dare to breathe. The pirates who remained on the ghost island had a solemn face and did not dare to make a sound, not even the cheers of victory. The whole ghost island is quiet as if it has really become a ghost island. Boom. Kaido jumped off the ship and looked at the ten blades on the shore with the wolf's tooth stick. The more he looked, the more frightened he became. At least two of them gave him a sense of threat, that is to say, two of them had reached the top of the sea, and in any place, they could be called strong. Although the strength of the others did not bring him a sense of threat, it was not weak, and it also belonged to the level of the sea thief. How did Suyu subdue such a team? The more powerful a person is, the more arrogant he is and he will not be easily convinced. Like the three plagues of the Hundred Beasts Regiment, Kaido was subdued when he was young, leading them to become stronger step by step, and only then did they have the current strength. In other words, a powerful sea thief, even if you defeat the other party, it is difficult to subdue the other party. The strong have the pride of the strong. If it was simple to subdue the strong, Kaido would have gone all over the world to challenge the strong. Suyu, this boy did a good job. Kaido muffled. He did not expect that Suyu went to sea once, not only had super strength himself, but also collected subordinates with powerful combat strength. Both Quinn and Ember stood behind Kaido, ready to strike. The Flying Six also sided with Kaido. The two sides competed against each other, each not giving in, and the atmosphere gradually became solemn. Yamato carried the wolf's tooth stick and walked towards Ryoma's side. Yamato, where are you going? Kaido shouted. Of course, it's over there and I support Lord Suyu as the captain, Yamato said casually. Kaido glared, staring at Yamato and unleashing a terrifying momentum, and in an instant, the sky changed and the wind and clouds converged. Oh the contrarian. At such a critical moment, he was still on the opposite side. Rune Yuan beckoned to Peggy Wan behind Quinn. Little Pei, come here. Good. Peggy Wan just agreed, and the other flying six and Quinn looked at him in unison. Flying Hexagon is under the administration of Quinn. Seeing that Peggy Wan was also leaving, the most excited was Quinn. You boy. Do you have to fight against Boss Kaido too? Don't be afraid of Kaido beating you, Quinn said. Oops, can't fight, Big Brother Quinn, you don't have to say it. Peggy waved her hand. What a fight, you stinky boy. Quinn glanced at Peggy even. He watched as Peggy one walked behind Rooney and and became the person opposite. Kaido's side was missing Peggy even, and the momentum dropped. Suddenly, Quinn discovers the plus, and quickly finds out in his mind the news about the plus. You've worked with the Navy, Quinn shouted in excitement. What? Did they cooperate with the Navy? Kaido turned his head and looked at Quinn. As if asking why, Boss Kaido, that man was a Navy Admiral T. Porpoise. Quinn pointed to the plus, causing an uproar. What? Did Lord Su cooperate with the Navy? Could it be that in order to become the captain of the ship, Suyu did not hesitate to unite with the Navy against Boss Kaido? A pirate who came down from the Hundred Beasts exclaimed, How can pirates cooperate with the Navy? This cannot be tolerated. Kaido Boss, let's kill them. The Navy dared to put its hand into the Hundred Beasts pirate regiment. What a death hunting. The Navy must be made to pay. Kill the Navy. Leave the Admiral on Ghost Island. For a moment, the crowd was excited, and the unsuspecting pirates held high their blades and exploded with amazing killing intent. Pirates and the Navy have been opposed for an unknown number of years and the resentment has been deep. Previously, Kyuhai was recruited by the world government and ridiculed by countless pirates as thugs. The seven martial seas under the king seem to be mighty, but in fact, in the eyes of the sea thieves in the new world, they are the lackeys of the world government. The contradiction between the navy and the pirates cannot be resolved. Kaido was furious and shouted, Yamato, have you betrayed the pirates? Of course not. Why is that T-Dolphin plus here? Don't tell me he betrayed the navy and joined the hundred beasts. Since the T-Dolphin is here, 
Then the red dog and the green pheasant are also here. Tell them to come out. I'm going to leave you all on Ghost Island today. Kaido was furious, and he wouldn't be so angry at the internal rivalry of the Hundred Beasts, but it involved the Navy, which made him extremely angry. Pirates are pirates. How can it be united with the Navy? Pirates are not the dogs of the world government. The pheasant and the red dog are not here. I don't believe it. The Navy only sent an alternate general to deal with the hundred beasts. I look down on me too much. Layers of dragon scales appeared on Kaido's huge body, and a dragon tail grew behind it. The demonic momentum spread, and the small stones on the ground rolled, as if they were also afraid of Kaido's courage. He became more powerful, and in his orc form, his physique was greatly improved and his vitality was also on a higher level. In this form, he is the real strongest creature in the sea, land and air. Kaido, do you want to fight? I'm there. Not to be outdone, Yamato manifested digital alloys that covered the body. The shield of courage unfolded like a pair of alloy wings. Oops. Jiaji took a step forward, spread his hands, and said helplessly, I have withdrawn from the navy, I believe you will soon see my reward order. There was no need to go to war now, Lord Suyu would soon return. Can't we fight again after the adults return? The two protagonists have only arrived at one, and it is not appropriate to have a fight now. Quit the navy? Do you have proof? The embers of the fire are one step forward, comma for tat with the addition. Jiaji scratched his head in distress, he really couldn't prove himself. Suddenly, he thought of something and raised his arm. This proves that I have joined the hundred beasts. He has the number three on his arm. What does that number mean? Yam Yan asked in a deep voice. Just a number. What does it mean? Lord Suyu selected the most elite fighters and created the ten blades, ranked according to the level of strength one blade to ten blades, representing their respective strength and status. One blade is the highest and ten blades are the lowest. And I am the third blade, which can prove that I have joined the Hundred Beasts Regiment. Jiaji pointed to the number three on his arm and explained slowly, under the mask, the embers of the fire were locked. The third blade? That is to say, above you, there are two more people. Not many people are stronger than the Navy's alternate admirals. The strength of the admiral in the Navy is already close to that of the admiral, and it only takes one opportunity to go further and have the power at the top of the sea not comparable to vice admirals. The second blade is me. Do you have an opinion? Yamata reveals the number two in the palm of his hand. Under the first blade, Yoma said, Runi, the fourth blade, carrying a golden rod, and I refloated in the air and shouted untamedly, fifth blade, Annie rode. Benata crossed her hands at her waist, sixth blade. The seventh blade is me, Lu Chi said lightly. What about eighth? Ninth? Tenth? Quinn asked. His heart froze and the breath emitted by these people should not be underestimated. Through the momentum, it can be judged that it is strong. Chapter 138 Not yet chosen. A voice sounded from the sky. Everyone raised their heads and looked up at the sky, and Suyu carried Jack down and fell heavily to the ground. Rumble. The ground cracked, and Jack lay on his stomach and knocked out a large humanoid pit. Suyu levitated in the air and casually patted the unwarranted dust on his body. Kaido, you have also seen the situation. What do you think? Suyu asked lightly. Kaido stared at the genius he had once been most optimistic about. Captain's position, I won't give it to you. The Hundred Beasts Regiment was created by me, and it would be naive to want me to give you the captain's position in one sentence. Suyu nodded, you can continue to be the captain of the Hundred Beasts Regiment, I am not ready to rob you of the captainship. Forehead. Kaido was stunned, not only him, but everyone else was also stunned, very puzzled by Suyu's words. I don't want to be the captain of the ship, and I still put up such a big battle. What do I want to do? Demonstrate. Not necessarily. So you led the Hundred Beasts Regiment to defeat the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment, and there was no need to convince the public through demonstrations. So what do you want? Kaido didn't think Suyu wanted anything. The other side's ambitions are great. Kaido already saw it. I want the land of peace. Suyu spoke amazingly. No. The embers of the fire resolutely refused. Suyu waved his hand. Don't worry, can you listen to me? I want the Kingdom of Peace and the Hundred Beasts will still be able to obtain Bailey development from the Land of Peace in the future. Later, the Hundred Beasts are my pirate regiment. Kaido you can continue to be the captain of the Hundred Beasts. You can continue to pursue the position of One Piece. The Kingdom of Harmony is the foundation of the development of the Hundred Beasts, and without the Land of Harmony, the Hundred Beasts will have no money to develop. Expanding your party will slow down. This is also the reason why Yan Yan Embers resolutely rejected Suyu. There are a large number of Heilu stone mines in the country and through the sale of Heilu stone mines, the hundred beasts earn a lot of money, and there is no need to plunder money outside. Bailey, who can steadily develop the strength of the hundred beasts, and buys artificial demon fruits from Do Flamingo, is also earned by selling sea stone. The pirate slaves who mined the Heilu stone were all defeated by the hundred beasts, and there was no cost, just to provide some food, and it was not too much to describe it as a million profits. Bang! Jack stood up and shook his head. His skin was thick and thick, and this impact could not hurt him at all. Quinn made a few glances at Jack and motioned for him to come over, but unfortunately Jack stood motionless next to Suyu as if he hadn't seen it. Angry Quinn wanted to beat Jack up on the spot. 
The embers of the fire were silent and retreated behind Kaido. So you, you want to create a country? Kaido looked serious. It's not as simple as that. Did you know that there were people who had the same goals as you, who were extremely ambitious, and who ended up bleak? I'm not him, and what he can't finish doesn't mean I can't finish. Suyu shook his head. Locke's ambition was great, his strength was terrible, and he could subdue so many powerful pirates. Unfortunately, his plan failed, and his ambitions were crushed by the world government, reduced to the past. Locke's defeat was inevitable, and his pirates were strong and numerous. But to defeat world governments and navies, it's not enough to rely on pirates alone. Pirates will betray, which is the root of Locke's failure. When Whitebeard, Golden Lion and other sea thieves united, they could definitely defeat the combination of Roger and Carp. They are all legendary figures who is weaker than whom. Even if there is a gap, that gap is very small. Coupled with the terrifying power of the sea overlord Locke's victory is not impossible. However, the ten blades created by Suyu would not betray him. As long as he gets more modification points, he can further enhance the high-end combat strength of the Hundred Beasts regiment. The Pluto ship and Poseidon the Sea King can greatly increase the overall power of the Hundred Beasts. Although Pluto and Aquaman have not yet been obtained, it is only a matter of time before they can obtain the two ancient weapons. The overall strength and high-end combat strength will be enhanced, and the Hundred Beasts Regiment will not be afraid of any enemy, and will have the strength to break the wrist with the world government. Kaido saw from Suyu's eyes that he had a firm will and self-confidence. Fight with me, win me, the Hundred Beasts will belong to you, and the Kingdom of Peace will be handed over to you. If you lose, you must be honest about my natural disaster, Kaido said in a deep voice. I want to add a condition, after winning you. You must also honestly listen to my orders. So you pulled out the demon wolf's fangs and aimed the tip of the sword at Kaido. Kaido grinned. Yes, on Ghost Island? Right on Ghost Island. Ghost Island cannot be destroyed. Kaido refused. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Jack is there. It doesn't matter if the Ghost Island is destroyed. Jack? Kaido looked at Jack and didn't understand Suyu's meaning. Seeing that Suyu's mind had already been decided, he didn't say anything more. The surrounding pirates ran off into the distance, shouting as they ran. Run. The Emperor of the Sea is at war and the Ghost Island will be destroyed. Retreat into the distance. Otherwise, it will be affected, and even the bones will not be found. Run. Don't hesitate. Flying Hexagon, Triple Plague and Ten Blades did not run. They watched this battle and decided the future battle of the Hundred Beasts. Wimble looked at the two men blankly. What are they going to do? Hey, there's going to be a fight. Jirja said from the side. Fight? I went to help Big Brother Suyu. Wimble carried the knife as if joining the battlefield. Bang. The ember slammed into the hilt of the Wimble's knife preventing him from picking up the knife. This is the battle that belongs to the Emperor. Outsiders are not allowed to meddle. Wimble glared at the embers and shouted in disbelief. Strange man, you dare stop me. Wimble's force, strong strength surprised the embers. What a power. Where did Suyu find the monster? This physical strength is stronger than Quinn. The embers of the fire are secretly in their hearts. Wimble, don't mess around. This is my battle, and you obediently watch in place. After the war, I'll arrange a barbecue for you to eat, Suyu said casually. Mm -hmm. I'm not messing around. Wimble nodded honestly, as happy as a child getting candy. Yam Yan was surprised, such a powerful guy. There was a problem with his head. Who broke this guy's head? Kaido and Suyu confront each other, and the two sides erupt at the same time. Overlord collides, and purple black lightning bursts out. The overlord color of the two is not divided, and they have reached the top level. The Overlord color has reached this point. Kaido rushed towards Suyu, and the wolf's tooth rod wrapped around the Overlord color. That Overlord color winding, will you? Kaido roared. Purple black lightning flashed on the devil's teeth, which was the symbol of the Overlord's entanglement. After Suyu I split and awakened his natural ability, his strength was increased several times, and he was not afraid to compete with Kaido. Bang! The fast knife and the wolf's tooth stick clashed, and the purple black lightning splashed around, and both of them were attacked by the other Overlord color and their heads were shocked. Are you saying this is this kind of entanglement? So you grinned. Good boy. Then I won't play with you anymore. King Kong Dysprosium. The wolf's tooth rod sent out a powerful impact. Not to be outdone, so you slashed out a super huge flying slash. Bang. Chapter 139. The ghost island shook, and one of the horns of the skull on the island was cut off by the sword chi, and it fell down with a boom. The collision between Kaido and Suyu continued and the swords and maces continued to clash. Kaido suddenly transformed into the form of a green dragon, opened his mouth wide, and spat out hot breaths. Hot. An attack that was enough to crash into the mountain was aimed at Suyu and fell. Oops. Boss Kaido is hot. Still aimed at the ground. This ghost island will be penetrated. What? Ghost island will be penetrated? Isn't the ghost island coming to an end? Hurry up and get on board. Lord Kaido's battle with Lord Suyu will completely destroy the ghost island, and their battle is serious. Oh. The Great War. No matter what the result is, in the future, the Hundred Beasts will be able to reach the top of the world. We are the strongest. Before Suyu was in a hurry, 
The pirates of the Hundred Beasts Regiment panicked first and fled to the pirate ships on the shore. They had seen Kaido's battle with Whitebeard, and the scene of destruction was unforgettable. Tsuyuk is a being who has even shot down Whitebeards, and fighting Kaido will only make the momentum bigger, not small. Tsuyu held out a finger, and the black flash converged. Black flash. Black flashes of light and horror heat intersected, creating a big explosion, and two beams of energy burst through the sky, like two mushroom clouds fighting. The sound was huge and the strong wind blew around and blew the surrounding trees away. Kaido's pupils narrowed, and his heat breath was extremely powerful, which could not be stopped by the power of Suyu's previous flash. Black flash, newly realized ability, Kaido murmured. Kaido roared, accompanied by a dragon roar. A large number of wind blades flew out, like the slash of a scythe. Suyu passed through the shock wave generated by the explosion and flew straight to the roaring Kaido in the sky. Bad wind slashed at the body, causing deep wounds with visible bones. Suyu didn't care. His body subconsciously launched a speed regeneration, and the wound healed instantly. Not good. Kaido then remembered Suyu's terrible resilience, which was stronger and faster than him. It is also Suyu's ability to make Whitebeard eat up. Kaido wants to change back into orc form, but Suyu was already close to him, and the demon wolf's teeth shone with a dark luster. A knife flow. Fall on the king. Suyu passed through Kaido's huge body, and a huge wound appeared on Kaido's abdomen, splashing out a large amount of blood. Kaido fell backwards, transforming into an orc form when he was about to land and attacked Suyu without stopping. Raw gossip. Suyu turned around, condensing the moonlight sword in his hand, and detonated at the moment of collision with Kaido's wolf's tooth stick. Four splashes of cyan energy blew Kaido away, and Suyu's black wings shook and appeared above Kaido. Point your finger at Kaido's head. Black flash. Bang. The black flash struck Kaido, penetrating the ghost island and knocking Kaido into the ground. The ground of ghost island cracked inch by inch and the huge castle collapsed. The island was no longer able to withstand the aftermath of their fighting. Boss Kaido. Quinn shouted anxiously. Ember held out his hand and stopped Quinn, who wanted to rescue Kaido. Don't panic, Boss Kaido hasn't come up with his strongest strength yet. Quinn heard that as long as he suppressed the uneasiness in his heart, he looked straight into the pit. Boss Kaido, you're not going to lose. I don't know. Yam Yan shook his head. Suyu and Whitebeard did not lose the wind in the battle, and it was not surprising that Kaido was suppressed. But the battle is not who attacks strongly who will definitely win. Stamina, defense, speed, and endurance all affect the outcome of the battle. If you fight a protracted battle, Boss Kaido still has a chance to win. Yam Yan Ember thought silently in his heart. Suyu spread his hands, and the two moonlight swords condensed. Big weed thunder gossip. A roar sounded from the deep pit, and Kaido burst out and rushed to Suyu like a ray of light. This is like the enhancement of thunderous gossip, and it is extremely powerful. Even if it collides with Whitebeard's air shock, it will not fall into the wind. I've been waiting for you. So you secretly said. Moonlight sword. Burst. Two moonlight swords exploded at the same time, and this close range explosion was so powerful that even the user would be injured. So you is super speed regeneration and is completely unafraid of injury. On the other hand, Kaido's powerful blow was blocked by the power generated by the explosion of the moonlight sword, and he himself was injured, and there were two more wounds on his shoulder and thigh. Kaido gritted his teeth and couldn't help but say, your playing style is also too rogue relying on your own super resilience, exchanging injuries for injuries, unreasonable. Seeing this, Suyu smiled and said, this is my advantage, it is too wasteful not to use it. Kaido, don't try each other anymore, show your true ability. Suyu believed that Kaido still had the whole card unused. Boy, don't die. Kaido muffled. He changed into a fire dragon form, and his size became even larger, many times larger than that of the green dragon. The huge body coil ring has surpassed the ghost island. My flame can burn a little, and whatever substance touches my flame will be burned to ashes in an instant. Fire Dragon Torch One of Kaido's whole cards. Kaido was named the strongest creature in the sea, land and air. But he did not simply rely on immortality and his irresistible power. In this form, even the embers and Quinn had a big change of face. Boss Kaido has used this trick. Hurry up and leave Ghost Island. If you are accidentally touched, you will die in an instant. Quinn yelled. Mary waited for the six to think too much and followed Quinn to the ship on the seashore. Yoma scratched his head and quipped, What a strong flame, can you handle it? Rune Yuan stared at the flame dragon above, and the corners of his mouth drooled. I feel that after eating Kaido's flames, I can become stronger. The corners of Yoma's mouth twitched, and he shouldn't have asked Rune Yuan this question. Ara, what an enviable ability to swallow flames can make you stronger, Lucy said. Rune Yuan shook her head and explained, No. My devouring of ordinary flames can only temporarily strengthen my own strength and replenish my strength. Only by eating high-quality flames can you permanently enhance your own strength. If she could increase her strength by eating a little flame at will, Rune Yuan would definitely soak in the magma and continue to devour the flames. Kaido's flame that can melt everything is of extremely high quality, and Rune Yuan has a feeling that as long as she eats enough flames, her strength will be even higher. Sigh, 
It's also very enviable. In the future, when you encounter Fire Fist Ace and General Red Dog, you will devour their flames and become stronger, Luke said with a smile. The strength of the Fire Fist Ace may be almost there, and the flames can't help Rune Yuan. The great General Red Dog is different, Rune Yuan devours the magma of the Red Dog, and it will definitely become stronger. Retreat. Don't let it get involved, Yamato said. He he, I just want a retreat. Jia Jia smiled. He didn't want to be affected, although he couldn't die, but he didn't feel good. You were once an alternate admiral in the navy, and you were so provocative. It's not an instigation, it's a lack of wanting to shoot. You won't teach the yellow ape. During the period of the major general, I followed General Huang Ape to the sea, Jia Jia said. Those who are close to Zhu are red and close to Inka Black, and if they have mixed with the yellow ape, it is inevitable that they will be contaminated with some vices of the yellow ape. Like salted fish. Chapter 140. The Three Plagues. The Flying Six and the Ten Blades all withdrew from the Ghost Island, and the two sides on the battlefield gathered their strength and prepared for the final collision. So you, do you think that with great strength, you can covet the Hundred Beasts? Do you know what the Hundred Beasts represent? Kaido roared. It doesn't matter what it represents, from now on, the Hundred Beasts will represent my ambition. So you ascended, and the surface of the Demon Wolf's teeth condensed into a Moonlight Sword, and in his other hand, there was also a Moonlight Sword. Pitch black arms and overlords wrapped around the wolf's fangs. This is his strongest attack method so far. As a king, it means you can't die. Nor can it be easily defeated. Once defeated, the hundred beasts will be affected by the eyes. Do you have this realization? Fang long flame gossip. The super huge fire dragon head was wrapped around the overlord color and the armed color, carrying a super impact force towards Suyu. A knife flow. Fall on the king. Suyu gritted his teeth and flapped his wings and he rushed towards Kaido with great speed, with Sonic's booms all around him. Bang! Rumble! The ghost island collapsed and sank, completely unable to bear it, and disappeared into the sea. A loud explosion resounded throughout the country of Wano. Everyone in Wano's country raised their heads in unison, attracted by the huge explosion. Where's the explosion? Questions have been raised. No one could answer him. The people of the kingdom of Wano would not know that it was two super powerful beings fighting. Xiao's in the flower building was playing the piano, and after hearing the explosion, she was shocked and her fingers were scratched by the strings, and scarlet blood flowed out. Xiaozi looked out the window and muttered, what happened? Was the hundred beasts attacked, or is Momonosuke back? Xiaozi Xin guessed that although the probability of Momonosuke's return was very low, she was looking forward to it, believing that it might be the movement made after Momonosuke's return. At the same time, the red-haired pirate regiment landed in all countries and launched a war with the big mama pirate regiment, desert four-star laxa cleric resulting in a situation that is very unfavorable to the big mama pirates. Mama mama red hair devil. You dared to hit my attention and wanted to step on me to secure your throne. It's so lively. Thought I'd be weaker than Kaido and Whitebeard. The aunt said coldly, and her eyes were full of murderous intent. The thing she most wanted to do was to go beyond Whitebeard and Kaido. The redhead smiled freely and pulled out the supreme fast knife griffin. Come and fight, let me see how strong the monsters of the new world of King's Landing are. Heavenly fire. Big mama released three huge balls of flames and the red hair easily cut it open, and the two sides fought fiercely together. The carders of the red-haired pirate regiment found the carders of the big mother pirate regiment, and from the quantitative point of view, the big mother pirate regiment had the advantage, but the quality was not as good as the red hair pirate regiment. When there was a war between the emperors of the sea, it was not the two emperors of the sea, but the four emperors of the sea who all started the war. When the Sengoku of the naval headquarters heard the news, his brow tightened and he felt pain in his temples. At this time, he had not yet received the news of the defeat of the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment, only received the news that the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment had started a war with the Hundred Beasts Regiment, and the Red-Haired Pirate Regiment had started a war with the Big Mama Pirate Regiment. He rubbed his temples hard and said irritably, What the hell are these guys trying to do? Can't they be stable for a while? Wouldn't it be nice to have them drain each other's strength? Crane said with a smile. Yes, it is very good, but this will also make the sea more chaotic, and if one side succeeds in destroying the other, the power will expand a lot and become more difficult to deal with. It's better than letting them develop peacefully, and as long as the Emperor of the Sea is not allied, he can't affect the navy. Jiru shook her head, she disagreed with Sengoku. The war between the Hundred Beasts and the Whitebeard Pirates, if not surprisingly, is still the victory of the Whitebeard Pirates, and the defeat of the Hundred Beasts. The two Imperial Pirate Regiments were not the first time to fight, before they were both white-bearded pirate regiments victorious. Not only because Whitebeard is stronger than Kaido's, but also because the Whitebeard pirate regiment is larger than the Hundred Beast regiment and has stronger overall strength. Sengoku looked at Jiru, who do you think will win? The red-haired pirate regiment and the Big Mama pirate regiment. Crane pondered for a moment and replied, Big Mama pirates, I have the same idea as you, the red-haired pirate regiment is very strong. However, the Big Mama pirate regiment has been in the new world for a long time, and its power is deeply rooted 
and it will not lose to the new star of the red-haired pirate regiment. Warring states jaws. What happened to Peach Rabbit's promotion to the rank of general? It will take time, this time to let Peach Rabbit go out more missions and accumulate merits, which can increase the probability of Peach Rabbit becoming the fourth general. Warring states muffled. Dot. The sea near the land of one Aku. The smoke from the super huge explosion has dissipated. Suyu's battle with Kaido came to an end. On the hundred beasts. Suyu sat on the deck, took a large bowl of wine and gestured to Kaido on the other side. Kaido didn't say a word, picked up the wine gourd and grunted and drank. The three plagues on the ship, the flying six and other people were very curious about who won. Ember noticed that Kaido's clothes were soaked with seawater and had an answer in his heart. This answer made it a little difficult for him to accept. He had always believed firmly that Kaido would become One Piece. I didn't expect to suffer a loss at the hands of my own people. Quinn poked at the Ember's waist and muttered, who won? Yam Yan Ember did not answer Quinn but just looked at Suyu and thought about something in his heart. Quinn followed the sight of the embers and found something. The pirates on the ship held their breath, and even the unruly flying six did not dare to speak out. They are all waiting for the real answer. Decide the answer to the future of the hundred beasts. Kaido, the talent on my ship who can also translate the text of history, and the strong combat strength. I will arrange some people to the Hundred Beasts Regiment to enhance the strength of the Hundred Beasts Regiment. Hold on to the throne of the strongest pirates, Suyu said lightly. From then on, the Hundred Beasts Regiment would be his subordinate force. To cram one's men into the Hundred Beasts is to turn one's left hand into one's right hand. Insert your men into it, and you can better control the Hundred Beasts. Let the Hundred Beasts keep the strongest throne and develop better, and there will be more sea thieves who will defect to the Hundred Beasts. Of course. He wasn't ready to stuff all the ten blades into the hundred beasts. Ten blades are also useful. Chapter 141 Kaido nodded sullenly. He didn't want to be Suyu's subordinate, but the situation did not allow it. Suyu's ten blades combat strength was in his eyes. These were all high-end combat strength, and once he repented, the three plagues and the flying six cells could not run, and at that time, the hundred beast regiment would really exist in name only. He had been developing the hundred beasts for decades and he didn't want to watch the hundred beasts degenerate into the past. Sooner or later, I will regain the position of Lord of the Hundred Beasts. Kaido swore in his heart. Although Runeyuan and Pagewin among the Flying Six have joined Suyu's camp, he still has three disasters. As long as the three plagues are still standing behind him, then he still has the possibility of overturning. How did you subdue these mighty men? Kaido asked. This was the biggest question in his mind. Proud of the strong. How can it be easy to surrender to others? Suyu smiled mysteriously and he naturally saw the disobedience in Kaido's heart. How powerful was Lox in the first place? Didn't Kaido still play a role in the battle of the Valley of the Gods? The Valley of the Gods was fought, but with their help, Lox could not be defeated. Kaido was ambitious and unwilling to submit to anyone. The brief surrender was also to wait for an opportunity to regain the position of Lord of the Hundred Beasts. However, Suyu didn't care, he didn't need Kaido to sincerely surrender. He needs time, and after this time, he will be able to have modification points and the high-end combat power of the Hundred Beasts will be his people. The Hundred Beasts could not escape the palm of his hand no matter what. Kaido's plan will eventually fail. It's a secret. Kaido, the task of the Hundred Beasts in the future is not only to trade artificial demon fruits, but also to go out to sea to plunder all kinds of demon fruits. Collect those homeless kids at the same time. So you said, the subordinates cultivated from a young age will be more loyal. To defeat the navy and the world government, a large number of warriors are needed. It's hard to do it with pirates alone. He's not like Kaido, he only likes animal lines. The Superman and nature systems are very strong, and some of the demon fruits involved in the Superman system that involve rules are very powerful and well utilized, more powerful than the natural and animal systems. Kaido nodded, I see, what about the mines of the Kingdom of Peace? Continue mining, the hundred beasts are responsible for selling Heilu stones and obtaining Bailey. Suyu and Kaido talked a lot. Dividing the scope of responsibility of the Kingdom of Peace and the Hundred Beasts. The Kingdom of Harmony is now nominally the Black Charcoal Serpent. Kaido reminded. Just slaughter it. Suyu waved his hand. The Black Charcoal Snake was just a puppet pushed out by Kaido. Kaido had no words. He would not defend Suyu for the Black Charcoal Snake. It's not worth it. The other party doesn't have that much value. In this regard, the captain of the Hundred Beasts Regiment was still Kaido's, but there was more Suyu above his head. The embers of the fire disaster had a complicated look and today's changes were unexpected to him, he expected the hundred beasts to defeat the pirate regiments of other sea emperors, and he also fantasized that the hundred beasts regiment would be destroyed. But he didn't think that the hundred beasts would change masters. People can't see through the future at all. Yam Yan couldn't help but say, seeing and hearing the cultivation to the highest depths, it is impossible to see through the future destiny. When you see the future, the future has changed. The hundred beasts sailed towards the land of peace, and after the destruction of the ghost island, the garrison of the Hundred Beasts was temporarily replaced in the Land of Peace. Quinn quietly found Jack and whispered, Jack, 
What the hell are you idiots thinking? Why didn't you just stand by the side of Boss Kaido? Jack looked at Quinn and said with a buzz, I support Boss Suyu, and the Hundred Beasts Regiment will definitely become stronger under the leadership of Boss Suyu. Quinn was dumbfounded. Was this still the Jack he knew? The person Jack admired the most before was Boss Kaido. How it's like a changed person today. Are you crazy? Quinn asked. Don't be crazy. You'll know why later. Jack crossed Quinn and walked towards Suyu. Quinn looked at Jack's back and muttered something hell out of his mouth. After the hundred beasts arrived in the kingdom of Wano, Suyu gathered most of the pirates, leaving only some pirates in the mining area to watch over the slaves and let the slaves escape. A large number of pirates gathered, and the number of members of the hundred beasts was about 15,000, which was 5,000 short of the 20,000 pirates when Luffy broke into the kingdom of peace. After two years of war on the top, the hundred beasts had 20,000 pirates, and after Kaido killed the Black Charcoal Serpent and subdued his men, its number soared to 30,000. Suyu stood on a high platform, looking at the dense pirates below, the corners of his mouth hooked. 15,000, a thousand more than I expected. Suyu thought silently in his heart. He had already guessed that the number of the hundred beasts was less than 20,000. The forecast was 14,000, and I didn't expect to have a thousand more than he predicted. After this year, the Sea Emperor of the New World will be quiet and will not start a war again. The territory of the New World has also been divided among the four Sea Emperors, and there is not much benefit to waging a war easily. So you could also take advantage of this opportunity to develop rapidly and improve the strength of the Hundred Beasts Regiment and the Kingdom of Harmony. Most of the Pluto blueprints have been translated, and it is expected that in two months, they will be fully translated. At that time, the construction of the Pluto ship will begin. With the Pluto ship, there is no need to worry about the threat of the world government. He hadn't forgotten Neptune White, either. When the situation of the Hundred Beasts group stabilized, he went to Fisherman Island to subdue the White Star. The pirates below saw some strange figures on the high platform and whispered, Who are those people? How can you stand with the Three Plagues and the Flying Six Adults? One of the pirates asked curiously, New Haranking Carders, look at their positions, their status is not low. Another pirate said, They are all pirates who stay in the mine and do not know what is happening on Ghost Islands. Don't you know it yet? The highest-ranking member of the Hundred Beasts Regiment is no longer Lord Kaido. What? Not Lord Kaido? Who's that? As soon as these words came out, some unsuspecting pirates boiled over and were shocked. You see who's in the first place, and you know who. When they saw Suyu standing in the front, they were stunned on the spot. Kaido stood to Suyu's left, and Ryoma stood on the right. Behind Kaido are the Three Plagues and Flying Six, and behind Ryoma are the Ten Blades. Suyu? I know he's very talented and has great potential, but he's too young. Only 16 years old. He has become the Lord of the Hundred Beasts. But what about Boss Kaido? What an exaggeration. Who is the one who is juxtaposed with Boss Kaido? Boss Kaido is the Emperor of the Seas. How could you give up your place? It's absolutely impossible. Hey, you don't know. Not long ago, a carder of the Hundred Beasts told what had happened, including Suyu shooting down Whitebeard, leading the Hundred Beasts Regiment to defeat the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment, defeating Kaido, and selecting powerful combat forces to create ten blades. The news spread rapidly and soon all the pirates knew about it. The sound of inhaling cool air came and went, they were all shocked. The news was too amazing, making them difficult to digest for a while. Quiet. Yoma let out a low roar, and the terrifying pressure fell, and the momentum was monstrous, instantly shocking all the pirates. Presumably many of you already know the news. I repeat this to you. From now on, the Hundred Beasts Regiment will be under the control of Lord Suyu. Kaido continues to serve as captain. After Yoma finished speaking, the whole audience was quiet, all shocked by his powerful momentum and did not dare to say more at all. Suyu looked down at the pirates of the Hundred Beasts and took out a demon fruit, which was the sluggish fruit of the Superman lineage. The Hundred Beasts regiment is still respected by strength, and its strength is strong, and its status is high. Besides, those who perform well can also get the reward of the devil fruit. People with great potential or strength have made great achievements, can give you the power of Esper species. Suddenly, there was an uproar below, and a noise sounded. Esper species. They all thought that Suyu had the Esper demon fruit in his hand. This is a demon fruit that is even rarer than the natural system. Very powerful. Kaido, the Emperor of the Seas, and the Admiral Sengoku are all Espers. The power of the Esper species need not be said. This is a force that even the Sea Thief craves. Suyu actually took it out as a reward. This made the members of the Hundred Beasts Regiment extremely excited, excited, and shouted Suyu's name. They were pirates, not soldiers of the kingdom. And there was one more person above their heads and it didn't affect them much. Moreover, Suyu's record was against the sky, and he defeated Whitebeard and Kaido in succession, causing their admiration. The Hundred Beasts Regiment respected strength, Suyu was strong, they worshipped Suyu, and the simple and rough management method made Suyu quickly get the support of a large number of pirates. Boom. One of the one-eyed carders below swallowed, gritted his teeth, and shouted, 
Lord, are the Ten Blades also under the control of the Hundred Beasts Regiment? If it belongs to the Hundred Beasts, what is the status of those Ten Blades? Suyu smiled. This Kada is interesting. He is a diehard fan of Kaido, and wants to fight for Kaido's control of the Ten Blades. Unfortunately, he miscalculated the power of the Ten Blades. If you can convince the Ten Blades, then what if they are under the control of the Hundred Beasts Regiment? Suyu said lightly. The one-eyed Kada was overjoyed and hurriedly shouted. What about status? What kind of status do you say we should have? A ghostly voice sounded from the ear of the one-eyed Kada. A hand rested on the shoulder of the one-eyed Kada, and the magnetic sound made the one-eyed Kada stiffen and sweat. The one-eyed Kada turned his head mechanically, revealing a smile that was uglier than crying. Yoma's arm was slightly forced, and the one-eyed Kada knelt on both knees, and the ground was cracked, and his knees fell into the ground. Fast, too fast. The one-eyed Kada was horrified. He did not notice the approaching of the Ryoma, nor did he see the trajectory of the Ryoma. Not only did he have this idea, but the three plagues and flying six had similar ideas. Kaido looked solemn, he saw the trajectory of the Ryoma, and the speed of the Ryoma surprised him. He determined that Ryoma was also a super strong, no weaker than the Emperor of the Seas or the Admiral. The battle power has reached the top of the sea. Kaido glanced at Suyu and said darkly, I don't know where he found the monster from. Suyu, you said you wanted to strengthen the power of the Hundred Beasts Regiment, Kaido said. Ten Blades can't join the Hundred Beasts Regiment, I will send the Hundred Beast Regiment a few powerful combat powers, you don't need to worry about the position of the strongest pirate regiment being robbed. Suyu shook her head. Wimble, Suyu shouted. Wimble, armed with a large knife in his hand, stepped out and let out a stupid snort. You'll follow Jack later, and he'll take care of your meals, Suyu said to Waibor. Kaido was stunned, then said. You send me an idiot? Also said to improve the strength of the Hundred Beasts Regiment. Chapter 142 Wimble is not a fool. Wimble said. He was a bit dumbfounded, but he could tell that Kaido was scolding him. Kaido ignored Wimble, but any normal person could see that there was something abnormal about Wimble's head. How strong can a stupid person be? I'm afraid I can't even grasp the domineering spirit. Normal people are very difficult to cultivate domineering, let alone fools. Wimble is strong, Suyu said. He had expected Kaido to say that. Without really seeing the power of Wimble, Few people will believe that Wimble's strength is strong. Quinn, you and Wimble have a brief encounter and let Kaido see the power of Wimble. So you ordered. Quinn stood up, and he was somewhat similar to Wimble's body shape. Can this fool bear my tricks? I won't be killed by one move. Quinn was dismissive, and he didn't believe that blow was strong. I'm not an idiot. Wimble was furious and clutched a large knife. Few tilde. The large knife cut down, bringing a strong wind whistle, blowing people's faces painfully. Quinn stretched out his mechanical arm to resist, and the moment the two sides touched, Quinn's face changed suddenly. What a power. The ground cracked beneath Quinn's feet, and the whole person took several steps back, looked at Wybull in disbelief. When Kaido saw this scene, he was also a little confused. It's so much strength that even Quinn can force him back. Kaido couldn't help but say, Quinn's strength was greater than Jack's, and the only person in the Hundred Beasts who was stronger than Quinn in strength was himself. The strength of the Embers is not as good as that of Quinn, and the speed and comprehensive combat strength are stronger than Quinn's. So the embers of the embers are the first of the three plagues. So you smiled and said nothing. Wimble possessed the terrifying power of Whitebeard's youth, and this power, combined with the powerful Esper species ability, would definitely not be weaker than the Admiral. However, because of Waybull's IQ problems, he could not reach the height of Whitebeard's peak. Today, Wimble has not yet obtained the Demon Fruit ability, and he can defeat the Sea Thief by his body alone. It's normal for Quinn to be less powerful than Wimble. If Quinn had fought in a different way, he would have been able to fight Wimble for a while. Come again. Enraged, Quinn transformed into an orc form, with his head covered in armed domineering, and crashed into web. I don't believe you can stop the armed color domineering. Quinn said coldly. Wimble wielded a large knife in a daze, and the armed color domineering spirit was also wrapped around it, and the body of the knife became pitch black. A large knife slashed at Quinn's head, startling Quinn. How can it be? Quinn's eyes were bulging and a fool had mastered the armed color domineering. Is this reasonable? When he learned to be armed and domineering, it took a lot of effort. After the collision, Quinn was even more surprised. The other side's armed color domineering was very deep, not weaker than him. Boom. Quinn was stunned again and was beaten by Wemble. After flying backwards for tens of meters, Quinn crashed into the mountain, and the whole person was embedded in the mountain. Quinn was dizzy all over. Wimble also took a few steps back, brandishing a large knife to continue the attack. Wemble, enough is enough, Suyu said. Hearing Suyu's words, Waibor immediately stopped and said stupidly, Lord, when can I eat? I am hungry. Prepare barbecue drinks. The hundred beasts have a banquet tonight. Suyu shouted. Wimble laughed happily. He liked the party the most. There was a lot of meat at the banquet, and I couldn't finish eating it. The pirates of the hundred beasts also cheered, and many pirates went to sea just to be able to eat and drink at will, and to eat meat and drink wine. 
No pirate doesn't like to have a banquet. Quinn was not injured by multiple injuries, and the animal-based ability had thick skin and strong vitality, and could not die easily. He woke up in a moment and walked awkwardly behind Kaido. Boss Kaido, I didn't expect Twimble to have so much strength, and the next time I change my fighting method, I will definitely not lose to Wimble. Quinn scratched his head. He saw that Wimble was extraordinary, with great strength, and that comparing his strength with Wimble's was self-inflicted suffering. I don't blame you, this guy is really strong, Kaido said. Jack. You little boy is so lucky to get such a powerful subordinate, Quinn said with some envy. Flying Hex cells belong to his management, but now the Flying Six cells exist in name only. Rune Yuan has become the Ten Blades, and Suyu has become the master of the Hundred Beasts Regiment, and two are missing at once. Peggy Wan didn't know if he would join the Ten Blades. The strength of the remaining three people cannot be compared with that of Wimble. Lord Suyu will also replenish the strength of the Hundred Beasts Regiment and the Flying Six under your command can also be reborn. Jack said to Quinn. Who do you listen to? Lord Suyu. Quinn turned his head to look at Mary and muttered something in his mouth. At the banquet, the pirates congratulated Suyu and kept patting their backs. Kaido sat down in the deputy's seat, took out the wine gourd, and gestured to Yoma. Yoma picked up the wine bowl and drank it dry. What is Captain Kaido's work? Yoma narrowed his eyes and asked casually. Why are you following Suyu? Kaido asked openly. There is no why, I just want to follow Lord Suyu. Yoma replied with a smile. Do you want to come to the Hundred Beasts? It is not for you to betray Suyu, it is to break away from the Ten Blades and join the Hundred Beasts. I'll make you a vice captain. Equal power to me. Kaido stared straight at Yoma. Hey, Kaido, I'm right next to you, digging my man. Embers have given you a vice captain for so long that you don't ask his opinion? Suyu kicked Kaido and said jokingly. Kaido smiled and didn't care. I have no problem, as long as he is stronger than me. The Embers shook their heads. I'm the head of the Ten Blades. Didn't I lower myself to the rank of vice captain when I joined the Hundred Beasts Regiment? Yoma resolutely refused. Also a subordinate of Lord Suyu, the Hundred Beasts Regiment and the Ten Blades are of equal rank, and he is the head of the Ten Blades, and he is the same level as the captain of the Hundred Beasts Regiment, Kaido. He didn't want to lower his identity and bow his head. Kaido was a little disappointed, Suyu had expected this, and got up and patted Kaido's arm. Forget it this time? Forgive you once. Next time don't let me hear that you're digging me up. Suyu's tone was very calm. Kaido did not think that Suyu was a peaceful person. He was once called a lunatic. But when it came to fighting, Suyu was still mad than he was. The fight of exchanging injuries for injuries and life for life is too rogue. Suyu beckoned, and T for number one, number two, number three, and number four came to him and knelt down on one knee. Adult, the four shouted respectfully. Suyu took out three demon fruits. Number one, number two, number three. The demon fruits in front of you are two superhuman and one is an esper species. What you can get depends on your luck. Eat them and let me see what your potential is. Chapter 143 These three demon fruits have great potential, and as long as they are not waste, they can achieve something. Moria had ascended to the position of the seven martial seas by relying on the shadow fruit. Tifa number one is far more physical than Moria, and they also have a talent similar to Big Mother. Skin is as strong as steel, and they have the blood factor of Big Mother in their body. They have great potential. Cultivate well and can become the help of Suyu in the future. In addition, the large mouth true god fruit and the slow fruit are also very strong, even stronger than the shadow fruit. The Oguchi true god form was able to release cold ice, which was originally a demon fruit that belonged to Yamato. The sluggish fruit involves time and belongs to the rare regular class of demon fruits. Tifa at it, and with her strong physique, the sea thief was not necessarily her opponent. After hearing Suyu's order, Tifa number one, number two, and number three looked at the three demon fruits on the ground. The other pirates at the banquet held their breath and stared intently at them. Tifa one, with the same appearance, has long attracted the attention of the pirates. The pirates thought that Tifa was a quadruplet, and they also lamented in their hearts that Suyu would play and actually snatched the quadruplets. Four people together, what a painful thing. Three demon fruits, Suyu boss is really generous. Three demon fruits can sell hundreds of millions of baileys, a pirate said enviously. Hundreds of millions of baileys? Are you stupid? Didn't hear boss Suyu's words? One of these three demon fruits was an esper species. More than a billion baileys can't buy it. Demon fruits that are even rarer than the natural system, Kada Dia and Suyu boss are all esper species ability holders. Another pirate patted the head of the pirate in front of him. His billion bailey. I've never seen so much money since I was a kid. Boss Suyu was telling the truth before. He actually had the Esper Demon Fruit in his hand. It's amazing. Hey hey, one more Esper species ability, our strength is getting stronger and stronger. In the future, it will be able to sweep away all the pirates and rule the entire new world. Kaido, Quinn, and Demba recognized the Esper species in Suyu's hand as the Demon Fruit they had stolen from the Ancient Kingdom last time. Mouthful of True God Fruit. It turned out that the Demon Fruit that had been stolen from the Ancient Kingdom was the fruit of the Great Mouth True God of the Esper species. 
so you gave Yamato another demon fruit to eat, Yan Yan said. They thought Jack had mistaken the devil fruit. Kaido turned his head to look at Yamato, Yamato, you're a blessing in disguise. He didn't know how high the strength of the Ogachi true god fruit was, but he knew that Yamato's battle tyrannosaur beast form was extremely strong, giving Yamato the strength to resist him. There are reasons for restraint, and there are also reasons for the increase in the form of the battle tyrannosaurus beast and the strength of the great. Yamato sat on the ground with his hands on his knees, no matter what kind of demon fruit you eat, I can defeat you. Kaido was speechless, his child was considered to be abandoned. When he worshipped Mita, he opposed him changed to worshipping Suyu, and also opposed him. Was his approach to education wrong? Kaido recalls how he taught Yamato. Throw the young Yamato into a cave on Ghost Island and order her to kill the samurai inside. Only after killing the samurai could they eat. Often beat Yamato, exercise Yamato's physique and strength, and let her improve in battle. Kaido has always believed that only fighting can quickly increase his strength. Suyu glanced at Kaido, and the way the pirate world's strong people were educated was incomprehensible. Karp also often beats Luffy and throws him to the mountain thieves. Kaido imprisons Yamato and beats her every time Yamato shouts the word meter. The two were surprisingly similar in their educational styles, and both lived up to expectations and lived up to the expectations of their elders. Karp wants Luffy to become a navy, inheriting his position as a naval hero. Luffy is guided by red hair and aspires to become One Piece. Kaido wanted to use Yamato's combat power to strengthen the power of the Hundred Beasts. Yamato idolizes Mito and is bent on defeating Kaido. Tifa number one, number two, and number three all chose the demon fruit and bit it down. His face instantly turned blue-purple, too hard to eat, even worse than Oli. What abilities have you all gained? So you said lightly. My lord, I eat the shadow fruit, and I can manipulate the shadow. Tifa number one said in a deep voice, and the shadow behind her stood up, forming a shadow split. This doppelganger had some of my strength, and it can be revived when hurt, and as long as I don't die, the shadow doppelganger will not dissipate. Tifa 1 said. Suyu nodded, Tifa 1 was developed in a different direction than Mariah. Mariah focused on developing shadow fruit manipulation ability, hoping to create more zombie soldiers to win by quantity. Tifa I prefers to develop its own strength and strengthen its ability to fight alone. Suyu explained some of Mariah's abilities to Tifa number 1, helping Tifa to develop the power of the shadow fruit faster and achieve the fruit awakening as soon as possible. Then he looked at Tifa, who had eaten a large mouthful of true god fruit and transformed into a large mouth true god form, capable of releasing cold ice, extremely fast. Tifa 3 ate the sluggish fruit, and she could only emit a slow light wave when she had just gained the ability. Suyu asked her to expand the range of the slow light wave as soon as possible, preferably developing into a slow aura that could distinguish between the enemy and the enemy. The combination of Tifa number 1, Number 2, and Number 3 is an extremely strong force. Number 2 releases ice to limit speed, Number 3 releases a sluggish aura, slowing the opponent's speed by countless times, and Number 1 cuts off the shadow of the enemy. Even the Super Sea Thief, without notice for a while, was attacked by the three women and would be killed. Tifa 4 has the greatest potential and the strongest of the Fortifari. So you had another arrangement for Tifa if, so he didn't let her eat the demon fruit. At the end of the banquet, the pirates were very excited. Suyu rewarded his subordinates with three demon fruits in the eyes of everyone, which greatly aroused their ambitions. They also want the power of Esper species. After the banquet, Suyu led the Ten Blades and a large group of pirates to the depths of the Kingdom of Wano. The days of the Black Charcoal Serpent ruling the Kingdom of Peace are over, and it's the turn of the new king to ascend to the throne. There are still three people left in the Ten Blades. Suyu whispered, Wimble could be a Ten Blade candidate, and his strength was enough to be a Ten Blade. But before he could get the demon fruit ability, Suyu didn't let him join the Ten Blades. The Ten Blades he expected must all be Esper species ability holders. Peggy One can be a Ten Bladed One. Rune Yuan said suddenly, she wanted Peggy One to be a Ten Bladed One, and it would be a good to follow Lord Suyu in the Hundred Beast Regiment. The Ten Blades are also relatively high in status. Suyu thought of a strong man who had once been on par with Riley, so he waved his hand, forget it. Let Peggy One stay in the Hundred Beasts Regiment. Rune Yuan didn't say anything more and silently lowered her head. You will have many opportunities to meet in the future, and I want to create a royal palace in the land of Wano, in addition to ten guardian palaces. In the future, your task will be to guard the royal palace, and the town will guard the palace, and you can move freely in the country of Wano on weekdays. So you said, thank you very much, several people said one after another. Chapter 144. Dot. Holy Land Mary Joya. The pinnacle of the Laterite continent, the residence of the five old stars, the highest government in the world. The warring states stepped onto this land, pushed open the white and luxurious gate, and saw five imposing old men. Four elderly people, dressed in black suits, each sitting on a treasure chair. An old man, dressed in a white kendo suit and holding a long knife, leaned against the wall. Seeing the arrival of the warring states, the five old men focused their eyes on him. Warring states, 
Why did you come? The five old stars with knife scars on their faces said. His eyes were fierce and imposing. The warring states were not afraid of the old man's momentum, bowed his head slightly, and said in a deep voice, Honorable five old stars, I want to expand the position of admiral. The five old men were not surprised or surprised, they had long been aware of the intentions of the warring states. The five old stars with swords said expressionlessly, the tradition of the three admirals of the navy has lasted for hundreds of years, how can it be said that change is change? There are too many positions for the general, which can have unintended consequences. Warring states you should understand that the number of generals is not as good as possible. The three generals can shock the sea, and if they are replaced by four generals, perhaps the pirates will not be afraid of the admiral and lose their reverence for the navy. The sea will become more turbulent. The long-bearded five old stars nodded, that's right. The position of admiral of the navy cannot be changed. The three generals were enough to suppress the sea. Senkoku's heart sank, and he raised his head, his face full of seriousness. The situation in the sea is not optimistic. The hundred beasts and the white beard pirates start a war. The new sea emperor redhead provokes a war with the big mother, and the new world has become a mess. The sea thief's void wing broke into the hall of fame, arrogantly destroyed the two seven martial seas, and fiercely punched the navy and the world government in the face. One Piece Supernova Ace is momentum. The Navy must make a move to deter the arrogant pirates of the New World. The best way to do this is to expand the number of admirals. If there are four emperors on the sea, then the Navy has four generals, corresponding to the four emperors of the Navy. Several five old stars pondered for a moment, and the long-bearded five old stars took the lead in speaking. Who would you like to recommend to be the fourth general? Peach Rabbit Giant, Sengoku said firmly. That recently rumored admiral of the navy? I heard that she ate the fruit of the Esper species and was able to control the sea. The five old stars with a knife asked. That's right, the demon fruit that giantette was the form of the Esper species, the queen of the imperial fish, which was able to control the sea. Fighting on the sea, exerting more power than imaginable, enough to suppress everything. Any pirate will be engulfed by the power of the sea, Sengoku replied confidently. He had personally seen the ability of the Peach Rabbit Giant, and also tested the power of the Peach Rabbit Giant, and after becoming a general, he could definitely deter countless pirates. No pirates are not afraid of the power of the sea. The form of the Imperial Queen, an Esper species that has never been heard of, can control the sea, which is really incredible. She restrained the other demon fruit abilities, and it was not impossible for her to become a general of the Shanghai army. One of the five old stars chanted two sentences. Next, the five old stars began to discuss whether to expand the position of admiral. The five old stars with knives did not agree to expand, and the five old stars with long beards agreed to expand. Momo Rabbit Giant's ability is very strong, but she can't break the rules, she is a navy alternate general herself. After the three generals retire, it is not too late to let her become a general. At this time, a piece of information came in. After the five old stars read the information, their expressions became solemn. Warring states was curious, what was written on it could make the five old stars become serious. After the five old stars read it, they handed the information to the warring states. After receiving the information, the warring states widened their eyes and shouted in disbelief, so you knocked down the white beard. The hundred beasts defeated the white beard pirates. Since then, it has become the first imperial regiment. The hundred beasts changed hands. Kaido became Suyu's subordinate. Big Mama's war with the redhead is over. The redhead pirate regiment all left the ruins of the world. The big mother was furious, suspected that the redhead won. Every piece of information on the intelligence shocked the warring states. Things didn't go in the direction he imagined. This era, gone with the wind, warring states murmured. He couldn't see the future situation. The situation at sea has become a chaotic mess, and no one can grasp the direction of the future. How is it possible that Suyu is only 16 years old and can beat off the white beard? He also defeated Kaido and sat in the position of the Lord of the Hundred Beasts. Sengoku murmured in shock. The sword-wielding five old stars narrowed their eyes and erupted with amazing killing intent. This little devil's growth rate is too fast, more than we expected. He must be eliminated to prevent him from becoming the second Lox. How to solve it? He had become a climate and was hard to kill. The long-bearded five old stars shook their heads. At the age of sixteen, he shot down Whitebeard a monster more talented than Charlotte Lingling. If you can't kill him in a short time, then find a way to slow down the speed at which he becomes stronger. Scarface five old stars said in a deep voice, just like Charlotte Lingling, let Suyu indulge in the same thing, ignoring her own strength. Charlotte Lingling is obsessed with having children, neglecting to exercise her own strength, resulting in a bloated body, much worse than when she was young, and her strength has improved very slowly. After the five old stars discussed it, the five old stars of Scarface said to the warring states, Warring states, your request has passed, and you can expand the position of admiral. But after Tao Rabbit Giant became a general, he had to do something that shocked the world. Otherwise, after two years, he will have to take back the position of admiral of Momoto Du Giant. Yes, Sengoku nodded in agreement. With the strength of Peach Rabbit Giant, it is not difficult to do something that shocks the world in two years. 
The next day, there were legends about the Sioux Emperor and the news of the expansion of the Navy and the General of the Navy spread wildly on the sea, and countless people learned about it. The war between the Redhead and the Big Mother was suppressed by two news, although it was also very hot, but people talked more about Sioux's defeat of White Beard. After all, this matter involves the world's strongest throne and the throne of the first pirate regiment. Sioux, who was far away in the land of peace, smiled, his prestige value soared rapidly, and he was close to a breakthrough. Ding tilde. The sound of the system rings out. Chapter 145 Somewhere in the sea of the New World, the red-haired pirates sailed the seas, and the newsbirds dropped newspapers. Jesus took hold of the newspaper, and when he saw the contents of it, his face was ugly. This little devil. How can it be? Jesus clothed his hands with force and the newspaper turned into a ball of waste paper. Jesus, what happened? The red-haired pirates are having a banquet to celebrate their success this time. Invaded the Big Mama pirate regiment, stole many of the Big Mama's treasures, and successfully left from the world. In a sense, they have defeated the Big Mama pirate regiment. This war allowed the red hair to sit firmly on the throne of the Emperor of the Sea, and the red-haired pirate regiment would be known to countless people, and the prestige spread throughout the new world of the Four Seas. Iron Wall. This is what the Sengoku says about the red-haired pirates. This evaluation is not high. No pirate group has ever received this evaluation before. Even the white-bearded pirate group has not let the warring states have such an evaluation. Whitebeard. Defeated. Jesus said in a sly voice. What? Whitebeard lost. He is the strongest in the world. How can he lose? The people of the red-haired pirate group were surprised, and after the golden lion disappeared and Roger died, the white-bearded pirate group became the strongest pirate group dominating the new world and occupying a huge chassis. There are countless pirates who have challenged Whitebeard, but they have all failed. Whitebeard is more powerful than you can imagine. The redhead beckoned and threw out some baileys, and the newsbird threw down a few more newspapers. When Beckman and the redhead got the newspaper, their faces changed suddenly, and they were shocked. There are four sections in the newspaper, which record the recent events on the sea. Shocked, wings of nothingness fights Whitebeard. Whitebeard was knocked out of the sea. The Whitebeard pirates failed miserably. The Hundred Beasts Pirate Regiment ascended to the top of the strongest Imperial Regiment. Do you expect the new One Piece to be born? The new Sea Emperor Red had led the Pirate Regiment to invade the nations and stole the treasure of the Big Mother. Big Mama declares that she will not die with red hair. Admiral Expansion. A fourth Admiral appears with the New World Four Emperors. The Redheads looked very ugly after reading the newspaper, Wings of Nothingness. This guy actually defeated Whitebeard, and the Hundred Beasts Regiment is also known as the strongest pirate regiment. Is the Hundred Beasts that strong, or is the Whitebeard Pirates too weak? The last time we fought with the Hundred Beasts, does that mean that we can also defeat the Whitebeard Pirates? I remember that the Wing of Nothingness was only 16 years old. 16 years old, the strongest in the world. It is hard to imagine, when he is older, how terrifying his strength can be. Is he really human? How could there be such a terrifying talent? He's human and someone has had a similar talent before, Shanks said suddenly. The red-haired pirates looked at the red-head in unison, their eyes revealing curiosity. Captain, who else has such a talent? Shanks groaned, and Suya reminded him of a person. A man who once tied One Piece's right wrist. An important battle force on Roger Pirate's ship, at the age of 15. He mastered the three-color domineering spirit, drew with Pluto Riley, and was called a monster by the people on Roger's pirate ship. Devil Air, Barrett, the legendary sea thief, he has been imprisoned in Advance City for a long time. The same terrible combat power, monster-like talent, at a young age, has the power of the top of the sea. Suyu showed even more amazing talent than Barrett, defeating Whitebeard at the age of 16 and becoming the strongest in the world. Shanks told the others about the legend of Barrett, and they were shocked to hear that someone had beaten Riley, the king of Pluto, at the age of 15. Pluto Riley's prestige has not yet dissipated, and the name of the vice-captain of One Piece is very loud and the legend will not disappear easily. Jesus was angry and his eyes were resentful, and in order to take revenge on Suyu, he had been trying to exercise his abilities and strengthen his strength. Prepare for the next war, a snow before shame, who knew that Suyu had suddenly become so strong, it was completely impossible for him to defeat Suyu. Even the redhead may not be Suyu's opponent. Revenge is naturally not feasible. Thinking that he could not take revenge, Jesus but became more and more angry and shot at the sea. The other crew members saw this and tried to persuade Jesus but Beckman shook his head at them. Let him vent, or he'll be even more uncomfortable. Beckman knew that there was no revenge, and the kind of pain that was accumulated in his heart. However, the red-haired pirate regiment has just finished the battle with the Big Mother pirate regiment, and it is urgent to recuperate, recover and accumulate strength. In a short period of time, it is impossible to start a war with other imperial groups. The Hundred Beast Regiment is still the strongest pirate regiment, and it is even more impossible to go to war with it. At the same time, the Seven Wuhai, Chming Jun, the Big Mama Pirate Regiment, and the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment also got newspapers. When I saw the above information, my mood was different, 
Some people were happy and some were sad. The Whitebeard pirates were furious and eager to tear Suyu to pieces. The leader of the Jming army, Long, had a solemn expression, and he didn't know what he was thinking in his heart. After the Seven Martial Sea Lady Emperor Han Cook got the newspaper, he casually threw it around, not caring about the information on it. Guru Lioza picked up the newspaper, and after reading the information on it, she immediately said to Han Cook, Han Cook, don't throw the newspaper in the future, but there is precious information on it. Even if I throw the newspaper, I will be forgiven by everyone because I am so beautiful. Han Cook's narcissistic backslid. Guru Lioza shook her head helplessly, continuing to analyze the intelligence and the impact of what happened on the sea on the daughter country. The land of harmony. The news that Suyu was about to ascend to the throne had spread throughout the kingdom of Hezi by the people of the Hundred Beasts Pirate Regiment. The inhabitants of the land of peace reacted fiercely, and did not agree to Suyu's ascension to the throne. However, under the powerful oppression of the Su Emperor, the residents of the kingdom of peace had no room to resist at all, and wherever someone made trouble, the Ten Blades would quickly appear and suppress all the troublemakers. The Black Charcoal Great Snake was angry, but there was nothing he could do and he was afraid of Suyu's power. Being able to defeat Kaido and Whitebeard, Suyu's power was already strong enough to frighten him. At the same time, Suyu ordered his men to build a new royal palace and a ten-bladed guard palace. The ten-bladed guardian palace branches are scattered in the Kingdom of Harmony, suppressing the entire Kingdom of Harmony and guarding the security of the palace. Suyu sat on the treasure chair, holding his chin and waiting quietly. Ding congratulations to the host reputation value exceeded 10 billion. Get two modified values. The sound of the system sounded, and Suyu smiled lightly. Where should these two modification values be used? He had several candidates in mind. Quinn, Ember, Kaido, Maria, Phosphor, Sasaki. The strongest of the several was undoubtedly Kaido's, then Ember, Plague Quinn, Phosphor, Mary, and finally Sasaki. Chapter 146 Modifying Kaido's demon fruit ability is somewhat difficult. Touching Kaido for a long time will definitely cause Kaido to be suspicious, which will lead to failure. To successfully modify Kaido's demon fruit, it is necessary to get Kaido to let down his guard, such as getting him drunk and modifying the demon fruit while he is asleep. Kaido's strength has reached the top of the pirate world, and there is no need to rush to modify Kaido's demon fruit ability, Suyu murmured. Although Kaido has different intentions, before finding a suitable opportunity, Kaido will not act rashly, but will try to expand the hundred beasts and enhance the overall strength of the pirate regiment. Jack and Wimble are there, and if Kaido has any changes, Jack will tell him as soon as possible. First modify the demon fruit of Ember and Quinn, and the hundred beasts will completely fall into their own hands, Suyu murmured. Yamato, go and call Quinn and Ember and tell them that I will give them the power of the Esper species. Yamato was stunned, so he told Ember and Quinn directly. Aren't adults worried about being heard by Kaido? Suyu saw Yamato's thoughts and couldn't help but smile. Yamato, don't worry. He just wanted Kaido to know that he had the ability to modify the demon fruit. In order to attract Kaido's, the next time he has a modification point, maybe he does not need to find a way to modify Kaido's demon fruit ability, Kaido will send it to the door himself, asking him to modify the demon fruit ability. Obey orders. My lord. Yamato flew to the hundred beasts station. Kaido is drinking wine and eating meat with a trifecta. Kaido stared at Jack and asked in a deep voice, Jack. Give me a reason. I don't believe you will support Suyu for no reason. Suyu gave you something. Yam Yan Ember calmly knocked on Erlang's leg. Jack doesn't like treasure. He worships power. Jack looked at Kaido with a complicated face. He would not betray Suyu, but Suyu did not have orders, and he could not explain it to Kaido. I'll tell you. What did Lord Suyu give Jack? Yamato's voice came. Yamato walked into the cave with a mace and sat unceremoniously opposite Kaido. My son, are you going to tell me why? Kaido was surprised. It's not like something Yamato can do. That's right. I can tell you. Jack's reason for supporting Lord Suyu. It is that Lord Suyu can modify other people's demon fruit abilities. Even the garbage demon fruit ability can become an Esper species ability after being modified by Lord Suyu. As soon as Yamato said this, Kaido was shocked with Ember and Quinn and a terrible wave was set off in his heart. What the? Esper species abilities modify someone else's demon fruit ability. Kaido's eyes widened and he looked at Yamato in disbelief. Really fake? Of course it's true. The ten blades are all Esper species abilities. Later, when you have the chance to see them transform, you will know. Also, my Esper species abilities were also given to me by Lord Suyu. At first, the demon fruit I ate was just an ordinary animal demon fruit. Not an Esper species. Lord Suyu modified my demon fruit ability and gave me the power to fight Tyrannosaurus beasts. Yamato said proudly. Sizzle Tilda. Quinn took a cool breath. The Ten Blades are all Esper species. It's amazing. That's a demon fruit ability that's even rarer than the natural system. Suyu's subordinates actually had such Esper species abilities. Suddenly, he thought of Peggy even. Previously, Peggy 1 was an ancient Spinosaur form, and during a battle with the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment, he showed the power of the Esper species. Transformed into an evil dragon swept through the battlefield, 
and killed many people of the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment. As it turned out, I finally understood what was going on with Peg Even's demon fruit ability. His spinosaur form had long since been modified into an Esper species, Quinn murmured. When he heard the news, he was shocked at first, and second, he knew that Kaido could not retake the Hundred Beasts. The Hundred Beast Regiment has many demon fruit abilities, and if Suyu can really modify the demon fruit abilities, then all of these demon fruit abilities will become Esper species, which will be a force that sweeps the world. Any force or individual, in the face of this force, will be bulldozed, destroyed and disappeared, and those who have this power will be pushed onto the altar and become the supreme god of the world. I finally understood why so many powerful people were willing to follow him. The embers of the fire are muffled. Esper species are enough to attract the strong and make them follow. Kaido stared at Yamato for a long time, and then he slowly spoke, Jack, you also got the power he gave. Jack nodded, I've got the power of the lord of the land, Glado, Gerudo, lord of the earth. Unfamiliar name. Kaido did not think about it. The Esper species are all legendary creatures. His green dragon. Margao's immortal bird, and the great Buddha of the warring states are all legendary beings. Since it was a legend, there were some legends that had been broken, had not been handed down, or had only been circulated in a very small area, and it was normal that he did not know. Oh, what did Suyu tell you to do? Kaido sighed and asked. The grown-ups say to give Ember and the Queen Esper species the power. Yamato was outspoken. Can you refuse? Ember said. He is also hungry for Esper form but he prefers to follow Kaido and help Kaido become One Piece. Accepting Suyu's Esper power meant joining Suyu's camp. Quinn had no words, half of his strength was mechanical, and he was less eager for Esper form. Kaido took a few sips of wine and waved to Ember and Quinn. Go, this is an Esper species, not to be missed. Boss Kaido. Ember opened his mouth to say something, but was interrupted by Kaido. Go. I'll let you go. Listen to understand no. Ember and Quinn had to follow Yamato away, leaving Kaido and Jack behind. Kaido picked up the wine gourd and whispered, Jack. Can I still trust you? Boss Kaido, Jack won't betray you. Jack condensed. So you gave him an order in advance to treat Kaido as before and gain Kaido's trust. Kaido laughed with satisfaction and picked up the gourd tun tun and drank it. As long as the three plagues are still loyal to him, then he has the possibility of overturning. So you strengthened the strength of the three plagues, which was a big help to him. The stronger the three plagues, the greater the likelihood that he will turn over. Ha ha ha. So you, you don't know about pirates. Pirate, it's betrayal. Since he can modify the demon fruit into an Esper species, it is originally an Esper species. Can he modify it into a stronger Esper species? Kaido murmured in his heart. Huge ambitions arose. Chapter 147. Universal. Cake Island has been reduced to rubble, and the ground still has the black marks left by the flames. The carders of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment looked ugly and their eyes were filled with anger and hatred. Damn the red-haired pirates. Sneak up on us. If the Krypton was not caught by the wings of nothingness, we would not be suppressed. Smuggy said hatefully, as one of the desert general stars, the Clement is a high-end combat force in the Big Mama Pirate Regiment. Don't talk about the Krypton. That guy can't change the situation in all countries. The Longbread snorted coldly. Redhead. Shanks. I want you to die. I must kill you. Big Mom roared angrily and the sound wave vibrated and came out tens of meters. Get the boat ready. I'm going after the redhead. Mom, the pirates need to be repaired and can't go to war with the redheads again at this time. Category stood up and stood in front of Big Mama. He is under great pressure in the Great War, and works with Big Mama against Shanks and Beckman's alliance. At this point, his physical strength was almost exhausted, and he did not have the strength to pursue the redhead pirate group. He was still like this, and the younger brothers and sisters would not be in much better condition than he was. After all, they are not big mums, and they don't have the terrible defense and talent of big mums. As the second most powerful person in the Big Mama Pirates, the highest masterpiece of the Sherlock family, Katuburi also did not inherit Big Mama's strange powers and steel skin talents. Forcibly chasing after the red-haired pirate regiment will only cause the pirate regiment to suffer more serious damage. Big Mama leaned down, revealing a terrible expression, and the pressure of the Soul Queen exploded. In other words, the other members of the Charlotte family were already full of fear. Katuburi looked directly at her aunt without showing a hint of timidity. Mum, please also calm down. We can grab the most delicious cake in the world. Katuburi took out his killer and began to seduce his mother. Big Mum is extremely fond of sweets. As long as there are sweets, her temper will get better. Katuburi, do you know what you're talking about? Do you really think I won't kill you? Big Mama said fiercely. The words were full of murderous intent. She wasn't kidding. She really killed Katuburi. Mum, please also calm down. Katuburi continued. The rest of the Charlotte family saw this and persuaded Katuburi to come back and not continue to anger his mother. Aunt, he has killed his own children. Lingaling, Katuburi is right. It is not appropriate to start a war with the Redhead again at the moment. The Hundred Beasts Regiment has become the strongest pirate regiment in the world, and with Kaido's ambition, it will definitely expand the territory of the Hundred Beasts Pirate Regiment, and we must beware of Kaido. Longbread exhorted. Hearing the words of Longbread, 
The aunt gradually calmed down, and for this person who grew up with her, the aunt would still listen to some of his opinions. Kaido, good luck, picked up a monster. Even Whitebeard was defeated by them. Defeating Whitebeard is Big Mama's goal all along. The cause is that when the Locks pirates were on, the aunt invited Whitebeard to have a child, but Whitebeard refused her. At that time, Whitebeard pressed her head, and she could not force Whitebeard. After becoming the Emperor of the Seas, Whitebeard also pressed her halfway. It annoyed my aunt. Now Whitebeard has been defeated by a junior, which makes the aunt feel very unhappy. Newgate, Kaido, Shanks, Suyu. I will definitely defeat you all, Big Mom said slyly. Kataku shook his head darkly. Big Mom is three minutes of heat, Mouth said to beat Whitebeard them. But there is no actual action, do not work hard to exercise their ability. Rely entirely on your monster-like talents to get stronger. It made Katakuri feel helpless. But helpless. Big Mama's will is not something he can change. Katakuri, go pick up the cleats back. Obey orders, Mum. Dot. The Land of Harmony, Embers and Quinn had already arrived in front of Suyu. Suyu looked at them lightly, presumably Yamato has already told you. Is there anything you want to say? Boss, I would like to ask if you can choose to modify it to some kind of demon fruit ability. Yam Yan asked. It is not selectable, and the modified demon fruit abilities are all esper species, and the specific form is random. Yam Yan took a deep breath and nodded solemnly. Please also ask the adult to give me the power of the esper species. Quinn also bowed his head without hesitation. Ember sighed in his heart not expecting that he would one day be able to get the new demon fruit ability. It was something he hadn't thought about before. Eat the demon fruit, the ability is fixed. Unless you die, the ability will not disappear, even if the ability does not meet your heart expectations, there is no regret to eat. This is the law of the sea. Unshakable laws. So you change this law. Makes the impossible possible. Come, don't move. Sue put her hand on Quinn and connected the system in her heart. System. Modify Quinn's demon fruit ability. Ding the host chose to modify Quinn's animal lineage dragon fruit ancient Brachiosaurus form. Please don't leave Quinn's body with the host's hand. Suyu unfolded a panel in front of his eyes. Quinn this guy's ability panel is okay. Suyu said secretly in his heart. Half of Quinn's strength is in mechanical technology and his own strength is not much stronger than Jack's. Chapter 148. Dot. Take a day off. Thump. Quinn fell to the ground. Suyu slowly withdrew his hand. Ding congratulations to the host for successfully modifying Quinn's demon fruit ability. Quinn demon fruit ability modified to, animal dragon fruit, esper species steel sea dragon beast form. Suyu was stunned, a little surprised. Steel sea dragon beast form? This is very much in line with Quinn's ability. Quinn likes to use the power of mechanical technology, and he transforms part of his body into a machine to strengthen his combat effectiveness. With the power of the Steel Sea Dragon Beast, presumably Quinn's combat power can go up to a higher level. Here comes another dragon, and there are so many dragons in my team. I already have two of the four Dark Kings in the digital world. I don't know if I can get together with the four Dark Heavenly Kings in the future. Suyu murmured in his heart. Boss, what's wrong with Quinn? Yam Yan asked. Suyu waved his hand. He's fine. Modifying the demon fruit will make people faint for a short time. Quinn had the good fortune to get the demon fruit ability that suited him perfectly. Yam Yan Ember nodded, not doubting Suyu's words. Suyu didn't have to lie to him if Suyu wanted to kill Quinn. It's long overdue. There is no need to wait until now. Next, Suyu began to modify the demon fruit ability of the flame embers. System. Modify the demon fruit ability of embers. Ding host chooses to modify the ember of the animal lion dragon dragon fruit. Ancient species toothless pterosaur form. Please do not leave the shoulder of the host without leaving the ember. Ding. Congratulations on the successful host modification. Embers and Quinn fell to the ground, and Suyu showed a faint smile. Aniru, unfold your heart's net and send divine punishment to those who disobey. Suyu said to Aniru. The sight and smell of Annie Road covered a huge area, and it could cover the entire empty island before. After obtaining the form of the green dragon beast, the strength becomes stronger. The heart network transforms, and it can cover the entire kingdom of harmony. Obey orders, my lord. Aniru was excited, he had long wanted to do so. After unfolding the heart net, he didn't have to move anywhere, just swing the golden stick at will, and he could drop thunder anywhere in the kingdom of peace. Those guys who oppose Lord Suyu, he's going to kill them all. The general's mansion of the kingdom of peace. The black charcoal snake is enjoying itself, drinking wine while watching the dancers dance. He knew that the kingdom of peace was about to change, but they were powerless to resist. Nor is there the ability to resist. Suyu was not something he could deal with. Before Suyu came to look for him, he had to enjoy it. Boom. A man hurried in. Your honor, general. Not good. Someone is going to kill the river pine. The black carbon snake exclaimed. Who? Who would dare to kill the people I am imprisoning? It seems to be the ten blades under Suyu's hand. Ten blades? The black charcoal great snake was shocked and angry. He had heard of the name of the ten blades. The most elite combatant under Suyu's command. 
I heard that the first of the ten blades had an equal status as Kaido. Every one of them is a monster. Damn. How many blades? It seems to be the seventh blade. A guy at the bottom of the list. Lead the way. Let me go and meet him. The black charcoal snake said in a deep voice. According to the ranking of the ten blades, the eighth, nine, and ten blades have not yet been born, and the current seventh blade is the weakest one. He can't beat the strongest. He should be able to deter the weakest blade. The black charcoal snake thought to himself. Why did he kill Hisong? The man said to borrow the head of Hisong and use it to congratulate Lord Suyu. Stop. Luke walked toward the place where Kuamatsu was being held, followed by a large area of fallen samurai. Hisong, I give you a chance to surrender to Lord Suyu, and I can keep you a small life. Inside the cage, Kuamatsu was alarmed. Who? When Kuamatsu saw the samurai who had fallen to the ground, his pupils shrank sharply. The comers are strong. I'm Mita Kinchin. Will not betray Mita. Will not betray the kingdom of peace. You die this heart. Hisong said decisively. Luke was not angry at Hisong's answer, and he investigated Hisong before he came. He understood that Kawamatsu was very loyal to Mita, and that his words could not change Kawamatsu's will. Adar is dead, and Lord Su's kingdom of King's Landing and the kingdom is a foregone conclusion. The hundred beasts are all under the control of adults, let alone a country of simplicity and peace. Even the navy cannot change the outcome. Instead of rotting in a cage, you should be used by adults. Ha Song ignored Lu Chi, who had learned the ability to spit out fish bones at high speed during his years of prison life, which was not weaker than a bullet, and could also wrap around the armed color domineering. The jailers who fed him the poisonous fish sometimes forgot to pick out the fish bones, and they would be killed by the fish bones he spat out through the neck. He spat out the fish thorn and stabbed it into Lucy's eyebrow. Luke dodged the fish thorn. The fish bones flew to the rocks behind Luke and stabbed deeply into it. If it is stabbed into a person's body, it will definitely poke a hole. Looks like you've made your decision. Luchi said lightly. Kawamatsu is very strong, a vassal of Mitsuki Mita. Once the first lux of the Kingdom of Peace, he was extremely strong in physique and vitality, otherwise he would have died in a cage. Life in a cage is very bad, eating rotten and spoiled food, replaced by people with bad physique, two or three months cannot stand it, a life whimpering. You're in the same gang as Kaido and you want me to join. You dream about it. Kawamatsu shouted angrily. It is useless to become a king and lose a king, and it is useless to say more. Luke held out his hand, his fingertips condensed blood red flashes. His virtual flash was red, and Wang's virtual flash was bluish blue. Naturally, Hisong would not sit still. He aimed at Lu Chi's neck, mobilized his armed color domineering energy to concentrate on the fish thorn, and spit out the fish thorn with full force. Disgusting. Luke frowned slightly. A false projectile shot out hitting the fish thorns. This trick can be used against ordinary jailers, but it is impossible to deal with a strong. It's over. River Pine. Boom. Hisong broke through the cage and quickly fled into the distance. Luke shook his head, thought I didn't know you could escape from the cage. A false flash shot out through Hisong's shoulder. Yes. Hisong fell to the ground, gritting his teeth, and his small body exploded with amazing speed, ignoring the injuries on his body and frantically fleeing into the distance. Luchi flew in the air, closely following Hisong from time to time. Kawamatsu turned his head to look at Luchi behind him, despicable villain. He actually flew in the air to chase me. The two sides chased after each other and gradually approached a forest in the land of Wano. With a triumphant smile, Hisong turned sharply and threw out five or six stones wrapped around the color of the arm. Luke dodged most of the stones and was eventually hit in the abdomen by a stone. Kawamatsu was overjoyed, his strength was extremely great, with the color of the arm, ordinary stones were more powerful than bullets. Luke was hit by a pebble and was definitely not lightly injured. Oh! Do you think I'm alone? I am not the only one who opposes the rule of the Su Emperor. Ha Song clapped his hands. In the forest behind, a large number of samurai stepped out one after another, holding blades and looking angry in their eyes. The land of peace is not a pirate kingdom. You pirates who do nothing evil are not welcome here. Get out of the country or peace. A bunch of garbage. He also tried to control the kingdom of peace. Luke let go of a hand covering his abdomen, and a hole in his dress was torn, revealing his oops. No blood. There are no wounds. He Song's eyes bulged and he was very surprised. How could it be? My attack clearly hit you. Your attack is still lacking in ignition. Luke held out his hand. The stone was intact in his palm. Kawamatsu looked solemn, and the stones he threw with all his strength did not hurt Lu Chi, which greatly surprised him. Very strong. This battle is not easy to fight. Luke crushed the stone, and the powder flowed from the gap between his fingers. Actually, I already knew that you had gathered a group of samurai with the intention of rebelling against the adults. If you had been in the cage honestly, I wouldn't have come to get rid of you. Ha Song suddenly thought of something, turned around and yelled, run. It's a conspiracy. He's counting on us. As early as in the cage, Luke had the opportunity to kill him. But Luke didn't do that. Luchi wants to borrow him to find a samurai who intends to rebel. Destroyed in one fell swoop. The samurai did not listen to Kawamatsu's words, and they jumped into the air in a roar and slashed at Luchi. Four thousand samurai, that's a lot of them. Luchi groaned 
and the surface of his body emitted a light blue energy flash. Crunch it, Leopard King. The terrifying momentum spread, and the blue blue energy flashed through the heavens and the earth, forming a pillar of light. The air waves swept around. The stones on the ground were blown away, the leaves flew, and the towering trees were crumbling under this wave of air, and could be uprooted at any time. The terrifying weather made the samurai look frightened, and the samurai who approached Lu Chi were thrown away by the air waves, spitting blood in their mouths, and receiving a lot of injuries. What the? He Song's eyes widened, and he held a fast knife and jumped into the air to slash out a huge sword chi. You Ogawa, it's too slow. Lu Chi instantly appeared behind the river pine, and the sharp claws ran through the river pine's abdomen. Burst. Luke withdrew his hand and kicked He Song down. Boom. The river pine fell heavily to the ground, and blood was splashed everywhere. Kawamatsu, who was still breathing heavily, yelled at the samurai, escape, hurry up and escape, we are not opponents, Lord Kamatsu, we still have a chance, together, you can definitely beat him, the samurai shouted, they are many and powerful, one by one, tired and tired of Luchi, roar, roar, two dragon roars exploded, two dragon heads protruded from the clouds, a mechanical dragon head and a cyan dragon head, chapter 149, dragon, two headed dragon, how could the kingdom of harmony suddenly emerge with two dragons, could it be that Kaido is coming, it's not like Kaido's incarnation of the green dragon, what the hell is going on, who is our enemy, can we really retake the kingdom of peace, thousands of samurai were dazed, looking at the sky in a daze, their eyes fearful, they had fantasized about colliding with Kaido, believing that as long as they were numerous, they would have a chance to kill Kaido, and no matter how powerful the enemy could not stop them. You can really see how powerful the enemy is. They have only fear in their hearts. The previous indomitable momentum dissipated completely. Luchi glanced at the two dragons in the clouds. Who are you? Plague Quinn. The mechanical dragon spoke. Luchi looked at the mechanical dragon in surprise. You have become thinner. This is my esper species form. Of course skinny. Quinn said unkindly. For the power that Suyu gave him. He was 10,000 satisfied. That's great. Strong mechanical ability, exactly in line with his expectations. In addition, the Steel Sea Dragon Beast also has the ability to fly, and its speed in the sea is extremely fast, and its metal body can rebound and attack. Embers of the Fire. The Cyan Dragon said lightly, let's get rid of them together, Dragon Wave. The embers of the fire spat out energy rays and swept across the earth. The light touched the ground, and the heat instantly melted the earth, and the samurai who touched the light cried out and cried, missing their arms and legs. Don't take my credit, Luchi was in a hurry, this is all a credit, cannot be casually given to the embers of the fire embers. The flash of the king's void, Luke shot out a blue blue flash, the earth roared, the ground cracked, and the forest set off billowing smoke. Hey, don't ignore me. Quinn did not dare to be weak, and fired light sweeping through the samurai. Thousands of samurai were killed and injured under the fierce bombardment of the three men, and the wailing was continuous. Hundreds of samurai saw that the situation was not right and wanted to hide in the forest to escape. Luke didn't give them a chance, rushed into the forest, incarnated as the god of death, and frantically harvested their lives. A famous samurai lost his life under his claws. Kawamatsu's heart was in excruciating pain, and he hated himself for attracting Luchi. If he hadn't attracted Luchi and pretended to promise Luchi, these samurai wouldn't have died. He killed these loyal samurai. He song wanted to roar, but he was too badly injured to shout. Watching the samurai fall, the resentment in Kawamatsu's eyes piled up, staring dead at Luchi. If the eyes could kill people, Luchi must have been killed by him a million times. Stop, stop me. Who made you kill the river pine? I'm going to torture him. The black charcoal snake hurriedly arrived late, and after seeing the corpses everywhere, it sat on the ground in fright, and its eyes were frightened. This, this, monster. The black charcoal snake is afraid. Hisong is already very strong. He is not the opponent of Hisong. Such a powerful river pine fell to the ground and was about to die. The people who defeated him were unscathed and continued to kill the samurai. Prove that the opponent's strength is far superior to him. Are the ten blades all monsters? The black charcoal snake murmured. The embers of the fire disaster found the black charcoal snake, and the huge dragon head probed down, and the frightened black charcoal snake retreated one after another. Black charcoal snake, what did you just say? Embers, it's you. The black charcoal snake heard the sound of the embers of the fire and was surprised. Yes, it's me. Aren't you a terrasar? How to become a green dragon? The black charcoal snake asked. That's not what you should be asking. Go back to your general's mansion and don't meddle. Cold reminder from the embers of the fire. Before he did, he wouldn't say that to the black charcoal snake. Because Kaido still wants to use the black charcoal snake, he does not want to tear his face with the black charcoal snake. Now it is different. The Suyu boss wants to rule the country of peace and the black charcoal snake has no use value. There is no use value of things, he naturally does not have a good tone. You, you're talking to me like that. The black charcoal snake jumped up and pointed at the embers of the fire. The embers erupted with astonishing killing intent, and the momentum swept in all directions. Terrifying light waves converged in the dragon's mouth, 
absolutely capable of destroying the black charcoal snake with one blow. The black charcoal snake gave birth to fear again. No, you can't kill me, Embers, don't kill him. Luke flashed in front of the black charcoal snake. Reason, Yan Yan asked. The adult has the order, leave the black charcoal snake alive, and the adult must study his demon fruit ability. Luke said in a deep voice. Good. The embers scattered the energy balls and flew with Quinn to the Hundred Beasts station. The black charcoal snake's clothes were wet with sweat, and he gasped for breath, and the killing intent of the embers of the fire almost made him have a nervous breakdown. He was still happy when he heard Lu Chi's previous sentence, and when he heard the latter sentence, his heart giggled. Studying his demon fruit abilities? How to study? Will it die? Lu Chi didn't talk nonsense with the black charcoal snake and directly escorted him back. At the same time, the hundred beasts, in coordination with Suyu, blockaded the kingdom of peace. No one can do without the country of peace. Beggy Van transforms into an evil dragon and summons a large number of chains, turning them into cages trapping the kingdom of peace. Kill. Be sure to kill Suyu. He can't be the master of the kingdom of peace. A samurai roared low. You don't want to die. Even the hundred beast regiment is cooperating with Suyu's actions. What can you do to stop it? The man next to him said hurriedly. Abominable pirates. A vain attempt to steal the country. The worst of the sins. If Lord Mitu is still there he will definitely be able to kill them all. The world is different. The Hundred Beast Pirate Regiment is no longer the Pirate Regiment it was before, and the current Hundred Beast Regiment is several times more powerful than when Lord Meter was alive. Even if Lord Odar came back to life, he would not be able to stop the Hundred Beasts. That Suyu was able to subdue the Hundred Beasts Kaido, which showed the horror of his strength, so we should be careful. Ahem, what about us swearing at home about him? Could he have heard our conversations? The samurai disagreed. He also said that he did not have the courage to face Suyu directly. He didn't even have the guts to face the pirates of the hundred beasts. The next moment, a bolt of thunder descended, right in the middle of the samurai. Bang! The thunder dissipated, and the samurai turned into coke, emitting a disgusting smell. The man next to him was frightened and stupid, looking at the coke on the ground in a daze. The samurai who was still talking to him one second was dead the next, dead to the point that the best doctor in the world could not save him. Boom. The man swallowed and looked up at the cloudy sky. It's really changed. The man murmured. He didn't believe it was accidental. How could such a large bolt of thunder penetrate the roof and hit the top of the samurai's head? On the other side, Aniru was pondering whether to kill the man who was talking to the samurai. After a moment, Aniru shook his head. He also has different intentions. Sooner or later there will be an accident. Kill it. With a flick of the golden stick, another bolt of thunder fell. Chapter 150. Kanata looked at Aniru with some envy. It's really a convenient ability. Thousands of miles away, you can drop thunder and take the life of the enemy. Of course, I'm God. Aniru looked up and said proudly. Kanata skimmed her lips, her eyes mixed with some contempt. God, God ranked fifth. It's really a waste God. The corners of Aniru's mouth twitched, very unhappy. Don't forget that you're only the sixth. Pay attention to your identity. I'm one level taller than you. What about the higher level? Sooner or later I can surpass you. Kanata spread her hands and said indifferently. Suyu looked into the distance and planned in his heart what to do next. The Ten Blades all have their own thoughts, and quarrels with each other are inevitable. Externally they are comrades in arms, and internally they are competitors. Aniru, Hinata, Runeyuan, and Yamato all want to climb up. Once the Ten Blades were all in place, it was time to equip them with their men. The higher the status, the more subordinates there are, and the stronger the strength. Jian has become a naval admiral, and maybe it's time to carry out that plan. Suyu said silently in his heart. If this plan succeeds, at least one more emperor level battle force will be produced under his command. Ten blades can also be completed. Completely surpass the former sea overlord locks. I didn't expect embers to get the split seat form, and Fenny and Sansan was only a big fat fish Gaioka. If Quinn gets Gaioka's power, the three plagues can be directly renamed as the hundred beasts and three gods. The drastic changes in the land of harmony were not known to the outside world, but the news of the change of the Lord of the Hundred Beasts had spread on the sea, and countless pirates were horrified. Really fake? The Emperor of the Seas has changed? The Master of the Hundred Beasts became the Wing of Nothingness? Stupid. The Emperor of the Seas did not change. It was the Wings of Nothingness that Lingjia was above the Emperor of the Sea. Hiss, doesn't that mean that the Hundred Beasts Regiment is now a double Emperor Regiment? Two Sea Emperors? Is this news really fake? The news didn't come from the hundred beasts. It's a message from the world government. It must be true. The world government intelligence system is very strong, and it knows a lot of secrets on the sea. The news about the hundred beasts once again exploded on the sea, and countless pirates discussed. It is about a sea emperor, and the world's first pirate regiment, the sea thief attaches great importance to it. When they arrived in the new world, there were only two paths to choose from. The first is to join the four emperors and submit to the emperor of the sea. The second is to go to war with the four emperors. And if you succeed, you can take away the title of the other party, and if you fail, you will become the food of the Sea King.
The strength of the hundred beasts made them frightened, and some of the sea thieves who planned to challenge the hundred beasts dispelled their thoughts and turned to challenge the other sea emperors. Whitebeard pirates, Moby Dick, Whitebeard shook the hanging bottle, crushed the newspaper in his hand, and closed his eyes. The times have gone by storm and the sea has not given birth to someone like Suyu for too long. Whitebeard's voice was muffled. The last person to be similar to Suyu was his old Captain Locks. Margot stood aside, his eyebrows locked. Daddy, we were caught off guard by him last time, normal fighting, we will certainly not be weaker than the Hundred Beast Pirate Regiment. This time, we suffered heavy losses, a large number of companions were swallowed up by the sea, and the overall strength is no longer as good as the Hundred Beast's Pirate Regiment. Whitebeard shook his head. He knew the Whitebeard Pirates well. The Whitebeard Pirate Regiment has a large number of people, more than the Hundred Beast Pirate Regiment, and is also the foundation for the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment to be the first pirate regiment. In the last battle, the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment lost a lot of people, and its strength declined, while the Hundred Beast Pirate Regiment had Suyu joined in, and its strength increased. 1 plus 1 subtraction, the status of the two sea thieves is exchanged, and the Whitebearded Pirate Group is indeed inferior to the Hundred Beast Pirate Group. Blame us for being useless, if we are stronger, Daddy doesn't have to deliberately shatter the island and save our lives, nor will it fall into the sea. Daddy fell into the sea, making those stupid guys think that Daddy had lost to Suyu. The pirates outside are spreading that Suyu defeated the old father, and the world's strongest title is replaced, which is really hateful. Diamond Joyce was furious. A title is just that, not as important as you. Whitebeard waved his hand. But Daddy, I'm Whitebeard. How could it be decadent? No need to comfort me. Whitebeard shouted firmly. Melgao sighed. In the future, all members must work hard to improve their strength, and strive to defeat the Hundred Beasts Pirate Regiment next time and win back the strongest throne. All the members secretly made up their minds to work hard to defeat the Hundred Beasts Pirate Regiment as soon as possible. Whitebeard was very pleased, before they were all under their own protection, there was no sense of crisis, and they were not too concerned about exercise because as long as he is alive, the Whitebeard Pirates are the strongest in the world. After suffering this setback, they all woke up. I can still hold out for a while and buy them time to become stronger. Hurry up and become stronger, otherwise when I die, you will not have the strength to dominate the sea, and it will be bad. Whitebeard thought silently. Over the years, the Whitebeard Pirates have offended countless people and formed a vendetta against a large number of pirates. When he was alive, those enemies did not dare to act rashly. When he's dead, those guys will pounce like hungry wolves tear off a piece of flesh, and crush the white-bearded pirates to pieces. Ten days later, the situation in the kingdom of Waso was calm, all the samurai who resisted were eliminated, and some of the remaining guys with thieves hearts and no thieves guts ignored them. There are ten blades of suppression and the kingdom of peace. They can't turn the sky, and there is a lot of time to slowly pull them out in the future. Construction of the palace and the palace of the guardian began, and the palace was built on the general's mansion of the former black charcoal serpent. The general's mansion of the black charcoal serpent has been bulldozed and all its subjects have surrendered, including Mad Shiro. The Guardian Palace is responsible for guarding the Royal Palace, and the six Royal Palaces suppress the six major regions of the Kingdom of Peace, Nine Mile, Ksaimai, Rabbit Bull, Suzugo, White Dance, and Flower Capital. The six Guardian Palaces are guarded from the first blade to the sixth blade. The other four Guardian Palaces will have to wait a while before they are built. The terrain of Wasaku is special, there is no gentle coast, only cliffs and waterfalls around blocking countless pirates. Without a certain strength, there is no waterfall at all, let alone the country of Tua. This special terrain has resulted in few outsiders being able to come to the land of peace, making it difficult to trade, developing very slowly, and many residents of the country of peace have little to eat. This is not the reason for Kaido, and before Kaido came, there were many residents of the land of Kaido who did not have enough to eat. After going up to the cliff, there is an inland sea, and the country of Wano is an inland sea. The destroyed ghost island is also in the inland sea. The Su Emperor wanted to expand the Kingdom of Peace and increase the territory, and the other four guardian palaces were built on the expanded territory. The task is left to Jack, and Gerudo's abilities can do it. So you thought in his heart. Ding congratulations to the host's pirate regiment for becoming the world's first pirate regiment. Get, two modified values. The sound of the system sounded, and Suyu was stunned. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.